Welcome back, everyone, to the Homebrew Coffee Shop. It is now 7 p.m., um, and you all, for the sake of brevity, make your way to the shop as the previous shift is leaving. <clears throat> you come inside, and in the shop you see this beautiful mahogany circular table right as you walk in. Some of you are familiar with this table. Other you, others of you are like, ah, oh, that's weird. I don't remember that being here. We just had like a regular table. Beautiful, beautiful table. Sitting at this table are four old women you've grown, grown to know well. Betty, Mary Lou, Jane, and Hazel playing bridge, taking up, taking up prime real estate at this table. Also, Chad, none of this stuff seems weird to you because your memories were literally rewritten by the fates that this is normal. So oh, they were not dead bodies that you had to hide in the closet. Yeah, fuck yeah. All They're right. just here. <clears throat> so they are, they are here playing bridge at the table. The typical old women, they order hot water and then take tea bags out of their purses and make the tea so they don't have to pay for it. Um, so you also have, in the bar, you have... Uh, no, Clarence is gone. Um, you have... And Desiree also left. You have uh, Norman, the horror fiction writer, sitting there continuing to write um, off in the corner having sat by the window seat. Um, you guys also now are informed as you walk in, as Ned walks out, his shift having ended, Ned, with his great sword over his shoulder, walks out of the bar, um, and you see uh, something new. Off to the side is what looks like a bullet head like, mounted up on the wall, but this bullet, unlike any other one you've ever seen, is striped red, green, and white, as though some sort of peppermint stick or candy cane. And there's a spout hooked into it, and coming from this spout is a swirling green, red, and uh, white liquid that is some sort of peppermint syrup that has been factored into a way to allow people to add their own peppermint syrup to their own drinks, self-serve. There's also a second espresso machine behind the bar. So now they're or behind the coffee bar, so twice as much espresso can be made. Hunter, who you know is the 17-year-old musician who's trying to rise to fame, even though this isn't his shift, has stayed on and is playing a very soft, mentor-themed music, which is basically like Christmas carol just instrumentals in the background. A very nice vibe amidst the fire here. There are three gentlemen uh, with elf ears in the corner conspiring together. Um, behind the bar, which serves alcohol here, which the newer bar was established about three weeks ago, you have two people. You have a gentleman in a suit uh, who goes by the name Felix, and he seems to be a professional mixologist, and a woman who calls herself... Princess Penelope Periwinkle, but the the group of the people working there and the customers have just been referring to her as Penny. Um, and she is here because she heard you could find adventure, and adventurers have day jobs, and this is her day job. Um, uh, wow, things have uh, really changed around here. <laughs> you also see there's garland, there's decorations, there's a beautiful... Uh, sign showing uh, with a with a rhyme that I can't remember off the top of my head about how you should come and get peppermint lattes here at the shop. Um, uh, Chad, for your own edification, Gladriel and Professor Professor Thaddeus are no longer dead. They have oh, been wow. resurrected via the fates, so they <laughs> were never awkward. dead. Okay. Um, but you do see, and uh, basically Ned Ned's wife is on Ned's wife Caitlin is here at the shop and she is gonna be running the next few shifts for you guys caitlin you know is um she's a little snobby and she takes her job exceptionally seriously as a manager um they will tell you that they recently through some strange series of events the jade dragon tea shop which used to be in um ownership across the street a competitor to your uh, coffee shop has since gone out of business and as such has been run down and has recently been purchased by 
the homebrew coffee shop and they are in the processes of fixing it up and they're going to turn it into a pastry shop they're also going to branch out into teas themselves so they own it and they're going to build a sky bridge between the two shops across the street to allow to really just corner the whole market for uh pastries it's also a gift shop they have this whole big plan they're really growing they're going to take off the shop is just full of different people um things are going very well which is a surprise uh chad from a little bit that you do remember that wasn't rewritten by the fates where <laughs> there was a kill count uh, but you do know that apparently the entire uh tea shop at least 11 or, or i guess it would have been nine customers and two workers were all killed in some freak ac accident at the tea shop <laughs> uh, apparently everyone in there disappeared and when it reappeared all but two people were dead. Bob, the previous owner of uh, the Jade Dragon Tea Shop, who was ran out and ran away when a mob descended upon his shop and was driven away, um, coaxed away, really, by the interests of Peppermint Coffee, who are now patrons of your shop. And one staff member who walked away with a sinister smile on his face, having seemingly absorbed some greater power. No one knows what his deal is, and he's gone. So. Uh, wow. <clears throat> all of this goes down. Did you get all that? Because that's pretty much all that's happened thus far. You guys yeah, are also... Chad, yeah, um, Chad is pretty glad he's a poli-sci major, because <clears throat> otherwise this wouldn't make any sense. Fair. Um, you're also joined by other two other workers at the shop here with you. Twin uh, boy and girl gnomes. Zilgrim and Fenra are two other gnomes that work here with you today. They're on your shift as well. Uh, and you also see a woman, a familiar customer that you know. She also comes into the shop. Her name, let me find it here, is Veronica. And Veronica... Eh, what's Veronica's deal here? Um, uh, yeah, so she comes and she owns like a, a boutique on the corner and uh she's known for coming in here to flirt with all the employees she's a big flirt um Veronica. yes <laughs> so that is where we're at but why don't we go around chad we've been introduced to you but we'll have you introduce yourself and your character for the other players so jordan why don't you tell everybody about julius uh julius squeezer is a Yuanti <laughs> uh, snake loving coffee shop fiend. He just loves coffee. Um, I think I originally asked you if I could be some kind of like courier for coffee and yep. like me and my snake get on my bicycle and go around town delivering coffee whenever there's like orders to go. Mm -hmm. yep, sure. um, so, yeah. Uh, really excited uh, that my snake is available or can be with me at work because I don't like to be separated from him. And he's a giant poisonous snake, by the way. Like this is a medium-sized creature that's just this huge snake that like wraps around and follows me around. So um, I've got a face kind of like Voldemort, but happy. <laughs> and that's really a squeezer. There's a quote for you. I look like Voldemort, but happy. Um, all right, Paul, why don't you tell us a little bit about Joe? Uh, so Joe is uh, in between uh, semesters right now. Uh, he got put on a academic suspension, but in the meantime, he's been uh, practicing Kung Fu. He makes enough to pay his bills. He hangs out like on the docks and just, you know, listens to music. He's living his best life and he loves the, the craft of coffee and the way the four elements come together. And it's just like the beans from the earth and the water and then the air and the foam and the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a beautiful dance. Wow, I'm wonderful. I think we're best friends. <laughs> we probably all right. get it, all right? Yeah. Spin kick. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who are new to the stream whether playing or you're watching why don't we have chad describe chad oh uh, yeah okay uh so i'm chad johansson i'm just a normal dude uh i love beers my bros camping 
uh <laughs> and i really really want to get promoted like i'm like really got my eye on the prize like i believe in this shop uh yeah you know and i'm just here to chill it's me i'm chad i'm i'm a human i wear jeans and a t-shirt <laughs> what up oh you also have a flying lemur oh yeah and i have a flying lemur <laughs> named it? um named jj jr <laughs> JJ Jr. JJ Jr. Like the Chad man, JJ, Chad man, and JJ. Living it up. There you go. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's me. And Faye, why don't you tell us about LNA? Um, LNA is a Furlbog clerk. She would be in between missions and jobs and adventuring and come here to kind of experience this interesting thing of settling down a little bit and maybe uh, applying some of her medicinal skills and herbalism into helping out a coffee shop and see how it goes. All right. You never, yeah, you never know, right? <laughs> All right. So I'll just make sure I'm not missing anything here because we've, we get donations consistently. I want to make sure so I'm on top we're, of this. Were my two trinkets actually more Dragon Balls? Well, well, it's <laughs> really mean, important. Not, just uh, fine. Roll me, important. roll me percentile, please twice. Ah, okay. For those of you who don't know, trinkets in Ted-related games are not your average trinket. They do some funky stuff. I got a fifty-nine. All right. Okay. So fifty-nine. Let's see here. So you're behind the counter, you're getting ready for your shift. Um, you also notice, um, the tip jar is currently empty. Um, and th there is, uh, all of the money that should be accounted for in the register basically is there <laughs> because they caught the thieves that stole it. Um, and you see kind of like you're reaching in there and like a little bird flutters out and lands on your shoulder, Chad, Whoa. a little nightingale. Which, oh man! <laughs> Does my lemur like him? Or are they? Gonna yeah, like... they're totally down. And oh, cool. for some reason, you don't know why, this nightingale can help you practice your key exercises. Whoa! That's crazy! Oh my god! Fuck yeah! All right, Twitch. Which and um, bird? <laughs> and it like draws your attention back under the counter. And it rolls out a one-star Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best day! <laughs> I hold all four of them in my hands now, and I'm just trying to hold them all and, like, looking around wide-eyed. One more percentile, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, a 14. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh my god. Um, you also- <laughs> you! Uh, uh, puberty all over again. Um, you find, um, there's a different strange, like, lockbox behind this counter that wasn't there before. And looking at it, you can tell that if you use your key and focus and use a key point focused on this box, it will open. Okay, I'm conflicted about putting the box in Lost and Found Fair. or opening it. So I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna put it in Lost and Found because I'm like, oh man, that's not. There's right. there's I nothing guess. in Lost and Found because Felix is alive and so are the old ladies. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm like, well, maybe, maybe it won't hurt if nobody sees it. I'm gonna hide it like behind the espresso machine and then like use a key point to open it. Inside, there's a three star <laughs> Dragon Ball. Ah! Chad screams aloud to the whole. You all see Chad with his hand Chad. behind the espresso machine screaming. <laughs> wow. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Is is the new bar all right? Uh, yeah. No, it's yeah, it's totally fine. Um, I, I feel bad, so I'm gonna put like two dollars in the tip jar, you know, to like get it going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then I'll put the empty lockbox in the lost and found. <laughs> so, um, before he leaves, I'll say, uh, Ned had walked out and he comes back in and he goes, he comes over directly to you, Chad. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Good and to he see seems again. like he seems happy. Like there's a smile on his face. He's not at all the dour shell of a man you met before. He is happy. Hey, hey. The shop is booming. His idea for peppermint items seems to be really taking off. And he says to you, I just want you to know, Chad, Yeah. that the third shift really spoke highly of you. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And he says, through their efforts, they were able to, on a cheap, due to some legal shenanigan, were able to acquire the shop across the street relatively cheap. And due to uh, the insane efforts they had on keeping the shop safe, apprehending criminals, fixing the old broken espresso machine, acquiring the new one, Slaying a brulette and <laughs> stop a uh, starting a riot to bring down the emerald, uh, the jade dragon tea shop, and fending off Clarence, who turned out to not only be a creeper but also a bit of a, uh, a weirdo with a, a pension for assault. Um, oh, okay, <laughs> so naturally, they've uh, both Minerva and Kellum have been promoted to co managers of the new shop across the street. And um, Jitters and uh, Beauclerk have been present, uh, promoted to assistant co-managers to the shop across the street. And they wanted me to tell you that with several months of training, they would think about hiring you at that shop across the street. That's awesome news, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Chad's oh. face kind of goes like stone-faced and you can see that there are tears starting to well up in his eyes and he's like oh it sounds it sounds great yeah i mean like i've i've you know been here for three years and um it's nice to finally get some recognition so that's gonna be um and he's like well that's impressive cool. considering they've only we've only been open for a year but that's yeah, fair well, I, worked, I worked at the old coffee shop right <laughs> that was in the same spot so it's basically like i've been here forever um and he says yeah. He says, but son, listen. And he puts his hand on your shoulder. It's a strong hand. And he says, <laughs> I think based on, you know, the drive you had, and he seems like his words are kind of forced as he's saying this. And he's like, <laughs> you, you son, I think you're shift manager material. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, thanks, yeah. yeah. Is there anything I can maybe, like, work on? Anything you need me to do? Like, you know, I can prove it. Like, I, you know, maybe it doesn't need to be, like, months away. I, I could do, I could, you know, actually, like, clean inside the machine or something. I don't know. It's like, I'm so game. And he's like, well, the one machine is brand new, and the other one was just... I know, I set it up for you. <laughs> no, that was the coffee grinder, Chad. Stick with me. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Focus, Chad. Focus. <laughs> He says, this is the new espresso machine, and the other one broke, but thankfully, through their combined efforts, Kellum and Bo Clark fixed it. So we've got two working espresso machines, double the espresso capacity. But he says, no, I think you can get a promotion to shift manager as we speak, right now. Congratulations, Chad. <gasps> Are you serious? Yes, Whoa. right now. Shift oh manager. God. High five, Chad. You got it. Oh, totally high fives. Everywhere. Um, I'm running the customers. I want high fives. <laughs> you guys hear that? Shift manager. And uh, he yeah. says, he says, so, um, he goes, unfortunately, it's not really more money, but it is more responsibility. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'm so there for you, bro. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> And he says, and as, and he says, I'm sure Caitlin will tell you more, but with the severe boon of peppermint-based products, we're actually running low on the stocks that we had because we weren't sure if it was going to really take off. So I'll actually need you to organize a group yourself or otherwise to go and pick us up more peppermint-based syrups, peppermint sticks, and the like for the rest of the shift going forward. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, yeah. All right, team, yeah. And he's like, and then he just, he's like, time to go pick up my peppermint plate from Gendry, and he leaves. All this peppermint stuff for Winterfest, and it's not even Slay the Dead Turkey Day. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Minter is coming. Minter is here. <laughs> Minter is here. Yeah, you Minter. Mm, so... 
you're right. You're absolutely right. Like it is not Slay a Dead Turkey or Slay a Turkey <laughs> Day. But um to be fair, they were attacked by a peppermint eating bullet that now adorns the place. Um That's you guys, my new favorite monster, by the way. Which I'm a I'm a little sad that it wasn't a brolet. It's a it's a bro- like became best friends with it. It's a it's a brulette, technically. Uh, and you guys don't know this, but it actually bleeds peppermint syrup, and that's what's coming out of the tap. So they're actually drinking peppermint brulette blood. They're calling it a creme brulette. Um, third shift, guys. They were on point with all of their stuff. Wow, um, that sets the bar pretty high. Yeah, you're making me feel bad about myself. Poor Chad. God. I feel totally unprepared. <laughs> and they, um... Shift manager Chad. Shift manager Chad. And they did, do um... I get a, do I get a pin or a hat? Do I get a better hat? Do I get a different color apron? Sure, you get a different color apron. <laughs> and in that apron, a five-star Dragon Ball. No. <laughs> <laughs> in the pocket. Yes. <laughs> so... That's what he's tasked you with, and then you see um, he kisses Caitlyn as she comes in for her shift, and he leaves. And and she's, like, impressed, because his... Uh, well, none of you know this, but you kind of... Some of you who met a game and saw earlier, his biggest fear, which was uncovered, was letting his family down. Oh. And she's, like, in through... Because it was his idea to start seasonal drinks, and she said, pumpkin spice is all the rage with the kids... Let's do that. And he's like, I think this peppermint will be a big thing. And she didn't believe it. And the shop is booming. And here you go. Uh, Peppermint's where it's at. Definitely. But we got to get more peppermint, right? Yeah, yes. we're, going, we're doing so well. Um, I think... Oh, I want to introduce myself to Caitlin. I know we've met before, but yeah, Caitlin, I don't know if you heard. Um... I'm the new shift uh, lead, so, you know, you and I are going to be working, like, real close together. Uh, and she's so, like, yeah. um, well, I'm the manager. <laughs> You're the shift manager. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we're going to be working, like, really close together. So, like, if there's anything, you know, like, I have a certain management style. I'm sure you have a certain management style. And, like, you know, we'll make it work. And she's like, great. And she goes into the back room and shuts the door. <laughs> All um, right. <laughs> that went well. So, Faye, can I get you to roll me a percentile, please? If you would. We'll see what your trinket is. Not a Dragon Ball. 37. <laughs> 37. All right, what do we got for you? Um, let's see. Uh, all right so you find somewhere in the back amidst the art supplies for making signage which is pretty much complete at this point a canvas that's roughly two feet by two feet in size roughly uh half an hour after you write slash paint something on it <clears throat> it disappears and occasionally a reply message appears on it sweet uh, Trinkets, will, folks. They're great. I will uh, just quickly write uh, a suggestion for a new recipe for a new minty drink. Okay. Uh, it's slowly into the canvas, and we'll see what happens. Sweet. All right. Oh. So, um, oh, it was never... Okay. So it was never revealed last time. So you actually get the response relatively quickly, and it tells you to take the bottle, take a bottle of vodka and break up a bunch of peppermint sticks and throw it in it and call it peppermint schnapps. Whoa. Sweet. Um, I proceed to make this. Yeah. Uh, and you actually, un unfortunately, you are able to do this, but you're only able to make one bottle because you don't have enough peppermint sticks to make more. Legit. But it goes over well. The last shift figured it out, but they didn't tell anybody. So um, <laughs> now, as far as Ned or as far as Caitlin is concerned, Elena, you just came up with a wonderful new alcohol. This is you're really going places. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> I just try so hard. Oh god. <clears throat> 
So, um, basically, you were told this, and Ned would have told Chad this, but basically looked to Julius, as Julius is the typical delivery guy. He knows the routes of all the things. You know where the uh, where the supply... Uh, basically, there's the restaurant, su- restaurant supply shop where they get their, um, their equipment, but this is more of an ingredient supply shop that's a little further north in the Castle Ward. Uh, so you know the way to go to get to where all of these ingredients are housed. Uh, and what is the name of this place that is housing all these ingredients? Is it a candy store or? Uh, Candyland? Well, are we well, coming up with that right now? <laughs> we are doing that right now because I didn't think that much through. <laughs> so, the old candy shop. Well, yeah, the old candy. Um, <laughs> Peppermint's <yeah>. RS. <laughs> Not stale, we promise. Just <laughs> shut up and get your candy. <laughs> yeah, right. Dot com. Exactly. <laughs> or like an, an herbal garden. Yeah, let's let's so, give me. Or it's called from strangers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's actually like a wagon, a covered wagon. <laughs> it rolls around the city. No yeah. windows. <laughs> no windows. <laughs> White. All right, let us see. Um. No, I, I, these are all good, but let's go with. Because it, it's going to have other stuff than just candy, right? Because this peppermint is a new thing. Like, this was an experiment that blew oh. up. Uh, largely in part to uh, Lottie's social media campaign of hashtag Minter Miracles, um, <laughs> hashtag Peppermint Mocha, her pictures of her with her new wolf puppy and the mocha like together. It's really kind of exploded. And more and more people are coming to the shop. So you will go to... I guess it would be, how would I say this? Arcane D, right? So it's like can cane D. Are, you get it? That's the joke. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, Internet. I'll be here for the next 12 Hello, plus hours. Yeah. If they have a suggestions <laughs> box, I'm going to put from strangers in the box. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to take you guys. Um, Probably about just like a half an hour because you're going to need to bring like a cart and they do have a cart to like basically stock all those things in um, rather than having you guys carry it all. It seems like it's a waste of time. But Julius, you can hook the cart up to your bicycle if you wish. Or you guys Uh, can just walk. It's up to you. Well, uh, I'm assuming I I need help. There's a lot. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of peppermint. And uh, I'm seeing a volunteer. Yes, I'm seeing. Yeah. Oh, shift manager uh, yeah, Chad. Hi. Um, hey, you know, I don't you know need... if you need to be in charge of the store. If you can come with us. Oh, wait, uh, Caitlin. Uh... She'll she'll be like, it's fine. You can go. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Right. Yeah. No, I'm totally coming. My snake has no arms, so he has a hard time. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, I have two arms. Yeah, and that's what we need. We need people with arms. And, and so... JJ has two arms. Oh, I don't think this bird's gonna help, but. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Joe, are you in? Oh, yeah. All right. And it looks like... So I awkwardly hook up this thing to my bike. And I it... just follow. Because yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Fair. Um, so, uh, by the way, while you're still there, um, the little bit of people who tried the sample of the peppermint schnapps that you made, mm-hmm. n- like, this is a huge hit. And you see that Felix and Penny are like... How are we going to incorporate this into more drinks? This seems like this is a huge boon for us. So peppermint sticks definitely need those. Okay. So, yeah, if I can get uh, Julius to make me, I guess, a dexterity check as you're hooking this cart up to your bicycle. Sure. Uh, That's a seven. Uh, so like you start driving away and like the back wheel of your bicycle stays attached to the cart but the bike (laughs) keeps keeps going and then like falls over like it's unicycling sort of and then it falls over all right is there snow on the ground uh no not yet there's a we'll say there's a light flurry in the air light flurry in the air all right it's 7 p.m um guys we're gonna have to walk i think uh and i i don't know who who can carry a cart uh, I'm like, Wait, well, the wheel, one, the, the wheels still, are still on the cart, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The cart. yeah. I, yeah. I can, so we can pull the cart, I guess. I can tug it along. <laughs> okay. I mean, go. Okay. yeah, I'm, I'm like super good at fixing stuff. 
if you oh. want me to try and fix yeah. it. Yeah. I'm just like really it. good at great. it. Yeah. I'll okay. Hold it while Chad fixes it. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm just yeah. in awe of Chad. I'm like, this guy can do everything. Team. <laughs> Gift <laughs> man. Yeah. Like, Chad, Chad, taking over the world. Chad, man, Jazz, here we go. All right. What kind of, what do you want me to roll? I rolled a 19. So what do you want that? Um, I'm a dumb idiot who's good at things. Hmm. For no All right. reason. All right, Chad, you are able to fix this cart, let's say. Yeah, this cart is just like one my dad used to have. So, you know. Spent many summers fixing these babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice job, Chad. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, man. Spin kick. Too much spinning, Chad. Oh, you gotta Chad. slow down. Chad. The illusion is Powerful. ruined. <laughs> I'll hold the cart while Wait, you Wait, you're not really in a castle? <laughs> Whoa, no. <laughs> Man, that spin kick was so cool. You like destroyed reality. <laughs> <laughs> and Julius is just like an obvious. Like, man, I thought my snake was cool, but like, you're awesome. <laughs> what? No, you're awesome. And your snake is awesome. Believe in yourself, man. <laughs> uh, onward to peppermint and success. Yeah. Let's go to the coffee shop. <laughs> Good That's job, team. Player. High fives. This shift high fives. High fives. Yeah. All high right. Fives. So, you guys are able to take the cart and the bicycle and make your way along towards the uh, Arcanity shop uh, that houses the peppermint that you so desperately need. Uh, so, let's see what you encounter along the way or when you arrive i haven't really decided <laughs> um, so you guys are traveling through the streets of Waterdeep, uh making your way there and there is a cold chill wind on the air as the snow begins to fall and you see in the street uh, yep, lots of puppies. Um, you know, and you make your way. Huh. Interesting. Hadn't thought of that. Uh, you make your way along. And as you get towards, like, you're about five blocks away from our candy shop. And what comes out behind or from, like, a side alley and stares you down is this strange creature right it is a large white bear-like creature but from its claws and around its neck and throughout its body are large ice protrusions as though like its claws are made of ice and there's like an icy type mane on this bear-like creature and it like paws down and it lets out a bear roar in the midst of the street, seeming to stop your path. Why is this in the city of Waterdeep? This makes no sense. What is going on? I don't know. And I would like well, to roll for initiative, please. No, so, no. If you would not mind. Um, oh my gosh, my dice are super cool. I'm back at rolls. All right. Okay. Uh, 16 for Jam, man. All right. 22 for Joe. Joe's 22. How four about for Julius. Four. Nice. And LNA? 19. 19. All right. Well, you guys are... Julius is not having a rough day today. He's, he's, not, he's, he's riding not, his... He's riding his bike. You know, it's a little difficult. Bike broke. Uh, yeah. He was so close to getting shift manager, and then he just lost it by... <laughs> <laughs> by just that little bit to Chad. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have been working here for three years, and apparently the business hasn't even been here for three years. So. <laughs> Which is impressive, because I definitely said it's been open for like six months to a year, and you've been yeah, here for three yeah. years, which... I don't know what the hell you were doing for the other two, but... <laughs> I was on the construction crew that built the building. Ah. There we go. There you go. It, sure. all, it all makes sense. Now. So, <laughs> yep. Joe, you are up first as this creature is squaring off, kind of blocking your path to Arcanity candy shop what would you like to do 
Um, uh, does it look angry? Is it an angry bear? You would guess yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, he's gonna. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I want to like get around onto the other side of it. So I'd like to use my my monk acrobatics to like wall run to get over to the other side of it. Sure, go ahead and make me an acrobatics check. Let's see how it goes. Sweet. Uh, that that might have gone okay. Um, nine, uh, thirteen, sixteen. Yeah, you're able to. That's not the most graceful, but you manage to wall run, do a couple flips, and you land behind this pair. Sweet. Sweet. Anything and, else? Uh, I want to use the dodge action. And go, hey, hey, over here, bear, over here. All right. And distract it for the rest of my team. All right. Well, next up on the list is Elena. So you see um, Joe flip over behind it, trying to distract it. Yeah, I'm going to do, bugger, what was it again? Shield of Faith on Joe. Okay. So it's a plus two AC to Joe. Uh, that's only a bonus action, so anything else? Um, I guess I will do Sacred Flame. Right, dexterity saving throw for the bear. It rolls a natural one. What do you got for your five, your two, uh, two d eight there for your Sacred Flame? Yeah. yeah. One and one. <laughs> awesome. Two points of damage. Oh. <laughs> it looks slightly perturbed. <laughs> minor, minorly phased by this sacred beam of energy that comes down from the sky. One of its ears oh, part is of my plan. a little. <laughs> <laughs> Chaz, man, what do you got? Oh, yeah, it's the Chad. Uh, I'm going to run up and do what Chad always do. Uh, I'm going to karate chop it and go, yeah! <laughs> Uh, Alright, Chad. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, yep. What we do every day. Um, nineteen to hit. That hits. Okay, that'll be five damage. Then I'm gonna karate chop it again. No, I'm gonna do a sweet like scissor karate chop. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> On this bear. <laughs> Natural 20, scissor karate chop. <laughs> Turns out, two hands twice as effective as one. <laughs> Crazy. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm rolling so well, it's such a travesty. Um, okay, so <laughs> that'll be 16 points of damage. Wow, yeah, double karate chop. What else you got? Yeah, um, and I'm just like living my truth, so I'm going to flurry of blows. Um, and I'm gonna do the thing again where I like throw myself on my side and I bring up my two feet to like, so I'm gonna land prone, but kick the bear. <laughs> All right, so a drop kick, as it's called. Oh, sure. See, I'm not good at the fighting, so. It, it has a name. <laughs> come on, come on. Now. Ancient technique known as drop kick. <laughs> yeah, drop kick. He just learned it from watching YouTube videos, so I don't know. Um, okay, so that'll be a 15, will that hit? It will just hit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that'll be six more damage. All right. And I forgot I was way of the open hand last game. So I was I wondering. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. I need it to make a dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone by my sweet thunder thighs. <laughs> uh, he rolled a 16 on his save. So I think. Damn this... it. All right. So I try to kick the bear and I'm blank prone in the flur light flurry next Did, to the well, bear. Well, you still have. Another attack with Flurry of Blows. Oh, oh man, monks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try again. Uh, nine. I'm guessing he's not going to do it. No. Okay. The bear kind of like pats your hand away with its bear claw. I try to kick it again. I'm like, uh, no. Then it is uh, the. Yep, yeah, that's all. Then it's the bear's turn. <laughs> and it looks at you, Joe. It just kind of like presses its shoulder off at you. It turns Aww. back to the other three. <laughs> and you watch as in its throat a curling cold energy forms 
and it uh. breath weapons out at you. This, uh, I need. It's uh, a dragon bear. Nope, nope, not even close. Uh, <laughs> Chad, That's Julius, Chad and knows. Elena need to make dexterity saving throws, please. You say me too. Yeah. <laughs> Natural uh, twenty. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, 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 I am going to use my reroll given by donation. Thank you. There you go. Uh, dexterity, you say? Yes. Twenty-one, I say. And LNA. Should I use my reroll too? Uh, if you want. I th- I'm guessing it's gonna hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll take the reroll because the first one was an eight, so that was. This is a much better ten. <laughs> okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, everybody does have a reroll of a natural one. Keep that in mind if you haven't used it already. That's a thing that you have. So a ten, unfortunately, does not do it. Oh. So you will take half, Julius. And does anybody have resistance to either cold or piercing damage? I don't no. So. No. Okay. All right. So, uh, Julius, you will take 16 points of damage. That's halved? That is halved. Chad, you'll take 16 points. Elena, you're going to take a big old 32 points of damage. Oof. Oh, shit. And I would like a DC 16 concentration check to keep the Shield of Faith on... Joe. Oh, God. 15 plus 3. 4. So, yeah, 19. Alright, Shield of Faith stays up. Um, That is its turn. Mr. Squeezer, it is your Uh, turn. So, (laughs) luckily, one of two things happened. Either my dungeon master didn't remember that I have a pet snake, I'm giving you that one for free. He's so. really low to the ground, and so he the breath. Yeah, he just right avoided it <laughs> totally. He was under the cart or something. Yeah, sure. yeah. So I'm gonna fade back, and I'm gonna whistle for Bill, my my snake, and he's gonna like slither out, um, and I'm gonna fire an arrow right at this bear, being like, "We've got peppermint to get. You're slowing us down." <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see it. You gotta get uh, there before well, they close. <laughs> that's an eleven to hit with my arrow. Ooh, and unfortunately, eleven is gonna it breaks off a chunk of ice. But the bear is unfazed. And then I will say, Bill, attack it. And Bill has 10 foot reach. So he's not like within melee range. He's just going to like type hand out Whoa. and grab him. Nice. Um, and he's going to attack uh, for a 19. So Bill's going to connect. All right. That is seven, eight, nine piercing damage. Very nice. And the bear needs to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, poison bear. The bear poison has an bear. eight. Eight fails. So he takes 3d6 poison damage. Get him. Uh, for another 11 poison damage. Very nice. Yeah, you see uh, as Bill latches on. And he's not grappled or anything from that, right? Nope, nope. He just kind of, and then he he runs back because he's got that 10 foot. Yeah, he slithers away. I'm like, get out of the way, Bill. You're, you're dangerous. We all know you have 20 hit points. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill's like, like, Nods, a snake nod, and there's <laughs> a way. Um, then we go back around to the top. Joe. All right. Um, so Unexpectedly, gonna... this bear breath weapon your party. What is what is this? Since when could bears do that? Yeah, yeah. This is obviously not your average bear. Um, I'm going to run. Uh, Joe sees that and then starts booking it down the alley away from the bear. Yeah. And then turns around and I'm going to use a uh, water whip to, uh, yeah, as my bonus action. Okay. So it's got to make a dex saving throw. 12? Hmm? 12. 12? Uh, no, that will not do it. Okay. All right. So it's going to take three d10 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. All That's right. Great. But That's awesome. Nine, seven is sixteen, and a one is seventeen. All right. Yeah. So seventeen bludgeoning damage, and then uh, I'm going to knock it prone. All right. Pull its legs out from under it. He watches the bear's legs are pulled out from a whip of water from down the alley. Knocks this thing, pulls its legs out from underneath it. It's prone on the ground. Okay. Whoa! Anything that was my 
bonus yeah, action. Bonus action, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. And so now uh actual yeah. action, uh yeah. Uh leap up into the air and go Ki-yay! and yeah, bicycle kick down at the uh at the bear. <laughs> you know what? Now, make me a perf- make me a performance check. Oh yeah. Can I make a sploosh check? <laughs> it's your call, uh, Chad. <laughs> performance will be seven ten. Okay, so you go up and you say this awesome thing in your head as you bicycle kick down, and it really sounds more like <laughs> as you bicycle <laughs> kick down. Um, you can go ahead and make your attacks at advantage. Okay. Say goodnight. Hey, buddy. Good night. Good night. Can you blow kisses? Yeah, look at everybody on there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. So, Dad is going to be really tired tomorrow. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. You going to let Dad yeah. sleep tomorrow? Yeah. High five? Yeah. Aww. Love you, Dad. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, buddy. Okay. Sorry, go ahead and like your. Bye, puppy dog. Yeah, the puppy yes. too. Yeah. Like the dog out. <laughs> Bye. I didn't even see she snuck down here. Wow. Bye, Buffy. Um. Uh. So, oh, first attack was a twenty-five. Uh. Yeah. That. Yeah. Totally hits. Sweet. And that's uh five damage. Five no, damage. Six. six damage. Okay. Yeah. And then right. second attack, that'll be a 22. Mm-hmm. And that'll be 10 damage. Okay. And, and the, oh, that was that was it, because you did the water whip. Yep. All right. After Joe comes Eleni. Uh, definitely going to heal a bit for my, you know... <laughs> massive amount of Fair. damage that I took. No. Yeah, that's reasonable. <laughs> so, um, uh, cure wounds, and I can cast that second level. Yep. So, uh, that would be 11 plus 5, 16 back. All right, 16 hit points returned to you. Um, any, that was your action. Anything else? Um, is Thaumaturgy a bonus action? I can't remember. Uh, that is an action, Thaumaturgy. Okay. Um, then I'll probably just, I just, okay, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Cool. Uh, Chaz. Spread out a little bit. Yeah, Yeah. good idea. (laughs) Smart. Yeah, Chaz. Okay, um, is there anything tall I can run up by the bear? Preferably like a lamppost or something really cool. Sure. We'll say there's right. a lamp, lamp, you know, the street lights and water deep that are Wait, around. They're everywhere. Uh... Um, also, I would like to remind you, Chad, yes. that from earlier, which you never used, I don't think then, you were donated a natural 20. Yes. So okay. you, at any point during this session, you can forego a roll and just have a natural 20. All right. Well, here we go then. Lamp post. I see it. I got this awesome idea. I'm going to run up that lamppost sure. using my sweet flips, uh, and I'm yep. going to get up top there, and then I'm going to jump off of it onto this bear down with my elbow and drive it in, like, just, like, MME going down on this bear, and I'm using my crit. Okay. Go ahead and roll the damage. Double I'm just damage. making things up. I don't know what fighting is. <laughs> I was going to say MMA or WWE. MME. MME. <laughs> it's that one. Yep. 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 Sure. All right. Also, thank you to uh, Sue Super Saucy, the, the one of the only people watching us over on Mixer. Welcome. Um, thank you. We we do appreciate our fans on Mixer as well. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, slamming the Chad body into this bear, uh, this unfortunate bear. Uh, that'll be a fifteen. Fifteen points of damage. Yes. All righty. Uh, and then while I'm on top of the bear, I'm trying to like get my arms around its neck, like and try to punch it in the face. All right. Well, you have attacks at advantage because it's prone. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Um, 
Okay, great. Uh, 19? Uh, yeah, that hits. All right, and that's going to be another nine damage. All right. Um, nine damage, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a key point to disengage. I'm going to tumble off of the bear and land back up on my feet with my hands out in front of me. All right, you do just that. The bear does not look like it's in the best of spirits at the moment. Um, yeah, it got chatted. So. It did get chatted. It's true. All right. Um, that's it for Chad. Then it's the bear's turn. The bear stands up from prone <laughs> on its turn, half of its movement speed. Does it get its breath weapon back? No, it does not. Good. The bear looks to you, Chad. <gasps> and I look right back at it. Oh, wrong move, Chad. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> you watch as its bat as it stands up on its hind legs, and it begins to sway. But the ice crystals in its back. In the moonlight, begin to shift and coruscate and move. I literally, I, I'm hypnotized by this bear. Um, based on the proximity, um, anybody who's within thirty feet that can see it is that. I don't know where everybody's situation is. This is obviously theater of the mind, so you tell me. Are you within thirty feet? Yes or no? Answer. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So everybody is. I would like you all to make me wisdom saving throws, please. Whoa. 20 not natural. Nice. 18. Yep. 15. 11. 11. All right. So everybody except for LNA oh, passes. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I was so happy because I was like wisdom and I rolled a six. So like, oh, God. All right. So Julius, Joe, and Chad, you will take... 11 points of radiant damage. Whoa! Elena, you will take 21 points. <laughs> and you are stunned from this hypnotic array of the ice crystals dancing in the moonlight on the back of this bear. So lovely. I'll never... Uh, That's all you can see at the moment, is just how beautiful this is. It's like a beautiful, painful song. Uh, and then Julius... And Bill, it's your turn. Bill, he knew better. He avoided his case. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I love how smart Bill is. Bill's like, the man. Bill is the powerhouse of shift four. <laughs> He's going to be a shift leader before too long. My bright future ahead of him. Coffees. For some reason, it's like, what? Um, geez, I'm going to bonus action Hunter's Mark. Um, after that little thing, I'm like, "Oh, you're gonna you're gonna hypnotize me." I'm like, "I got my eye on you," um, and so I cast Hunter's Mark on this puppy, and then I fire an arrow at him, and I say, "Stop messing with my friends." Um, yeah. Math twenty two hit. Uh, boom, uh, seven damage from my arrow. Plus your Hunter's Mark. Oh, how much is Hunter's Mark? D six. These things, boom. Uh, plus another four. Okay. All right, cool. So uh, that and was... And then I hopefully am... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, that was to say. So it takes that damage. Anything else? Yes. So I am distracting it with arrows, and I give a nice little whistle, and Bill comes slithering up behind him 10 feet away and attacks again. <laughs> All right, Bill. Let's see what you got. And Bill rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh, no, Bill. You can choose to have Bill re-roll his natural one with your uh, re-roll. Yeah, I will, re I will do that. Bill, <clears throat> you owe me. Uh, that is a 18 to hit. That hits, Bill. Sweet. Uh, I need a d4. Boss, Bill. Uh, 12? Nope, 11. All right, and I'm going to make a con save now. 11 damage, make a con save. Oh, that is a, that is a 10. 10 fails, so he takes uh, another um, 10 damage. And you watch as the co poison courses through the veins of this bear. Yeah. Bill brings it down to the ground, and it dies in the streets. Yeah. 
So oh, Bill starts slithering stick. around it. And then <laughs> you see his jaw unhinged as he's going to eat this whole bear. And I'm like, Bill, no. You're, you're, you're <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. You, you're going to get it. You're gonna don't be a hero, Bill. Don't be a hero, Bill. We'll just, we gotta go. Peppermint first, Bill. Peppermint first. And he kind of looks at me like, oh, okay, and like slides off. Yeah, he's not, he's like, seems a little perturbed, but, you know, you're good. All right, he, sweet. This, this strange ice bear, as it's slain, as he, be, as he lets go of it and moves away, you watch as it melts into ice and turns into water in the street. Whoa. Am I unstunned now? You are. Because we're, we're like snapping in front of your eyes. <laughs> hey, so hey. beautiful. What? <laughs> Hello. Wow, that was a really good job, team. I feel like we really bonded over that experience. I love shift manager, <laughs> totally. Chad. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, yeah, we totally kicked ass. <laughs> this stupid cool. bear. Yeah, Bill turned yeah. the bear into ice. He has powers that I didn't know he had. Yeah, what? That's What's that's up? great. Way to go, Bill. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Wow. Yeah, that's Bill's Dragon Bear. Hero of the day. <laughs> yeah. And I go Bill. to high five Bill and realize he doesn't have arms. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Uh, and like his tail goes up, yeah. sort of, in like a whippy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a little weird. Like high one. Yeah. High one. Yeah. No finger touch. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to the end of the tail. <laughs> yeah. Anybody want to take a quick 10 real quick? I'm you like, guys, hey, and you're the shift manager. You know everybody uh, gets at least one 10-minute break during their shift. Mm -hmm. And for the purposes of the stream, a 10-minute break is the equivalent of a short rest. So uh, do we want to do that, uh, get get our breath back. I have I some Capri Suns uh, that I brought. Capri Suns. Orange slices Cap and Capri Suns. Capri Suns. I got the orange yeah. slices, yeah. Yeah, uh, Joe's got the orange slices. You guys are good. You can take 10 minutes, take a short rest. Anybody that gets stuff back, uh, you monks get your key points back on a short rest. Um, and then hit points to heal as you would. Yes, um, please. Yeah. As you reflect <laughs> on this weird, strange ice bear, what's going on? The city of Waterdeep, it's supposed to be safe. Where are the guards? What is happening? I, don't, I doubt Chad thinks that much. Chad doesn't. <laughs> Bill does. That's Bill. It's Bill. That's Bill Bill's monologue. internal monologue. <laughs> As he's like got his tail under his chin. <laughs> so we can spend hit dice. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and Bill didn't take any damage, but he could too if he needed to. Okay. Sweet. So yeah, you watch oh, yeah. as he's curled up in a coil, and his tail is just sort of like against his nose, thinking <laughs> deeply. Bill is the best of us. <laughs> oh, that's a garbage roll. And remember, oh, okay. it's uh, it's your hit dice plus your con mod. Oh, plus and you have con, right. hit dice plus con mod, and you have five total hit dice um, because you guys are level five. So I just spent four. <laughs> <clears throat> Ow, chat. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I just rolled, yeah, three ones on my hit dice. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Do you have a really great con mod to back that up? <laughs> of two. Very Ooh, <laughs> that is rough. All right, back to 32. <laughs> I'm back wow. to 48. Okay. Great. I hear a puppy. Is there a puppy? Hey, Buff. What's up? I just thought I'd see how your stream's doing. <laughs> that's how your dog talks in my head. Yeah. That's how a lot. That's how a lot of people picture her voices. I heard, I heard and... someone named Bill getting a lot of credit. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to make sure that uh, we're still cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to say hi to everybody on the internet? There's the Peppa. puppy. Yeah. Hey Buff, can you look right there? Yeah, there you go. <gasps> oh my God, she's trained. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, there's this... also a pup over there. So Why many pups. do you, all you guys have pup? Oh, <gasps> oh, there's Aww. a cat there too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Well, I won't keep you here, Buff, because I know you're gonna get bored of this very quickly. And those are <laughs> those are dice, not food. So. Yep. yep. You can hang out down here if you want, though. That's cool. So, all right. 
Uh, you guys take your little break. You get some hit points back. On to Arcanity, the candy shop. Yeah. Best shift ever. Because <laughs> we had the dogs. Yes. Yeah. We have Bill. We got this. <laughs> yes. You do have So. All right. You guys continue onward. Uh, and with, that, with relative ease, the streets do seem strangely empty. Uh, at this time of night, it is only 8 o'clock. There's no, like, weird curfew in Waterdeep. No one knows what that's about. But you make your way to Arcanity, a small, little, uh, kind of hole-in-the-wall shop that, as you walk inside, has, um, several, uh... <laughs> there's several <laughs> different options for, um... I'm oh, sorry. That's Wait, okay. Wait. These are all her servants. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I can't handle this. There's too many cute animals here tonight. Bill uh, and Buffy and your cat. This is Mistara. Mistara. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, you see uh, that there is an older... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There's an older gentleman there behind the counter. And you can see about this place is um several like it is like honeyduke's candy shop right like there's candy everywhere all different kinds uh all different manner of different things themed in the D, &D universe versus and also just like straight up regular types of candy but there's also it's a weird uh kind of juxtaposition there's also like arcane spell components and scrolls and other th <laughs> like the name is like we have arcane things and also candy. <laughs> so like, <laughs> legit. <laughs> they gotta so, put the kids in with the candy. So yeah, so bring them. I go for the peppermint sticks or leaves, are, or whatever I need to get. There is there are peppermint leaves. There are like like the pump top bottles of peppermint syrup. There are peppermint sticks, all available. And you can also see, like I said, there are various potions. There are scrolls. There are a couple of different look gemstones and things all scattered about here. Uh, are in there like shopping the carts. There are oh. shopping carts. Yeah, like okay. little little okay. push carts. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We get one. Let's let's grab one of those, and then I want to go up to the shelf where the bottles of the peppermint syrup are, and just <laughs> dump them all into the cart. You do so. You have those. You have several containers of peppermint sticks. You have some peppermint leaves. All of this kind of peppermint goods. Get um, it all. Chad's uh, paying. You, all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're the manager. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, OK. <laughs> you got the P card, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, uh, well, they didn't quite get around to that, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure they'll pay you back, like, on your <laughs> next Give that Faerun Express card or something. <laughs> yeah, totally. No, no, it'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, just put it on our expense account. <laughs> <laughs> so you you have all of the peppermint goods that are in the shop on your cart is there anything else here that you'd like to get or investigate while you are here chad chad get yeah the, get the uh beholder suckers they're like eight flavors in one get the beholder sucker go okay okay well we, okay but we can only get like a few all right There's... yeah one for each of us and yeah because I don't want that on the receipt. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know what? This is on me. <laughs> you guys, oh. you guys, all right. You guys all each pick out five pieces of candy. Uh, and I'm getting them for you because this is a Chad shift. <laughs> Best shift ever, Chad. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh my God. Spin kick. Spin <laughs> kick. Don't knock over your background again. Yeah, uh, no. I didn't actually spin kick this time, just in my mind. Fair. Uh, I'm going to grab my beholder suckers, but are there... I would like to investigate and see if there's anything cool. Yeah. yeah what's the um, best candy in here? Go ahead, and everyone can make me an investigation check. Okay. And so far, I love the idea of beholder suckers. Those now exist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got a natural one. So, I don't know. Uh, that's an 11. Okay. Oh, um, and my investigation is minus one, so I got a zero. Cool. Chad's just like, he's so happy 
with his idea to buy his shift mates candy. Like he's like, I'm gonna get that promotion. I'm gonna be a key holder or assistant manager one day. Uh huh. Look at me putting in all this effort. Not like Lottie who just took pictures on social media. God. Or, or Tinder who took con- who credit for all of my work. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So um, yeah. Joe got a twelve. LNA? Uh, sorry, nine. <laughs> All right. So, oh b- between Joe and Julius, you guys can find some other cool candy. I will take suggestions. Leprechaun uh, chocolate covered coins? Sure. Why not? Anything else? Uh, I feel like Jordan's got something cooking up in his head uh, right now. Really, really, I'm racking my brain here because I want to, sub- <laughs> like, every pun in my head is just going like a mile a minute trying to fit some kind of candy in there. Yeah. Wow. Um, An actual licorice whip. A braided, like, bull whip. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. 100% yeah. A, there is at least two of these bull whips. Really, that's six feet of candy. Like, oh, And yeah. if you technically unbraid it, like, wow, look at the value you get on this. Also, that's, it works. It one piece, right, Chad? It's all <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, totally get five. five. <laughs> uh, and, and with that, each one would work as a function as a whip once before, like, <laughs> yeah. it starts to lose its integrity. Perfect, perfect. It's a snack for the walk back and, you know, in case we've got more frost dragon bear. <laughs> yep. We're, we're set. <laughs> um, there's probably a Fire Genasi brand, uh, like hot candy, like super Similar. spicy candy, and you eat it and you can breathe fire for like one round. Ben, Genasi let's, balls. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go with that. Um, uh, and yeah, I guess we could throw in right some like black staffs, right? Like some sort of oh, yeah. like. Licorice oh, yeah. candy, right? Can they be pixie sticks? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Made from that. real pixies. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's oh, always no. a little bit of real pixie dust in there, mm-hmm. yeah. just enough to make you feel uh, funny, but it still complies with FDA regulations. Yes. No, Fred, I knew him well. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so this, yeah, so we'll say there's black staffs. I can't really think of anything else. I'm sure there's a clever thing about like Laurel Silverhand that I can't think of with some sort of candy there. Um, so many options. Yeah, there's a lot, right? Um, anyway, so, <laughs> you, can instead of like the chocolate bunnies, can be there be like the chocolate big statues like from Waterdeep? Yeah, like, sure. The walking statues. Why not? Yeah. yeah or blow pops that let you blow bubbles. Yeah, why yeah. Not? those can exist. We buy it all. <laughs> all right. So you go up to the sh- You go Air up. That light cast levitate on you. No, yeah. not. Limited levitation. Yeah, right. It, it's limited levitation. Right? It's like five feet off the ground. Not yeah, enough yeah. to cause okay. damage, but enough to be unique. Um, so uh, this happens. Uh, and you go to meet the, uh, the shop owner who's there behind the counter and he sees you with this cart full of all of this stuff and because it wouldn't be a stream unique charity stream or otherwise without this oh i know what you're gonna do you know exactly what i'm gonna do he says wow this is crazy you love all of this candy i like you got your shopping a candy, a cane candy, boom, that's the name of my shop. Thank you for your patronage. Can I interest you in any other arcane uh, devices? Arcane devices? And he, goes, and he says, yeah, I love, he says, arcane, crazy, look at this. And he like will pull shit off the shelf. And come over to show you guys, and... <sighs> Sorry. That's not great for my voice, but I, I don't regret any of my decisions. Uh, yeah, my good man. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, we're all doing this for homebrew. We're like, you know, peppermint is the shit now, so uh, we're just gonna put this all on our expense account. He's like, homebrew? I know this shop. I patron it. 
quite often. I will probably <laughs> visit it in a later shift once my shift here is over. Oh, yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, I, I will. No. I'm telling you right now. I'm not lying. I, I know, I know. I, I, I know. I'm just like agreeing with you. Uh, no, we love having you in there. <laughs> yeah, your voice is so cool. He's like, I know. <laughs> I love it myself. The reason yeah, you, that uh, I pause so often uh, when I speak stop. is that my parents spoke in another language and they took very long to learn the common tongue. So I adapted those pauses myself. <laughs> I'm this is a human crying. man, right? <laughs> man? Yeah, this is an older human man. This is... Okay. <laughs> mm. uh, the shopkeeper of our candy, okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, f folks out there that have streams, if you ever would like Christopher Walken to appear in your stream, uh, I always am up for collaborations, so keep that in mind. He has been at least a character in about every campaign I've run. Um... <laughs> He is the voice. He is the voice of a lich contained in our Princes of the Apocalypse game. Um, I played Christopher Walken one time, a half elf warlock of Cthulhu, which explains yes. why he's so crazy. All of these wonderful things can happen. Oh, we got a donation. What do we got? <laughs> Woo! Yay! Thank you, donation. And he goes, Yay! "I've got all of these things in the shop." He's like, "I got this stone. It glows a little bit. It's not great." <laughs> But it's what I got. Um, <laughs> like in a box? Is it on the in a box on the counter? Yeah. Or is he talking about yeah. like a little glow rock? <laughs> yep, basically. Oh, you asked about arcane devices, so now he's going into it. We um, thought he was hitting on us, but that's okay. I nope. <laughs> he, what else does he got? Um, let's see. He goes, I got this thing. It looks like an owl. It glows, they say, if Celestial's nearby. Never met one, so don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I hold it. <laughs> um, you, you're not sure. It might work. Yeah, that's the thing. And he's like, um, what else do I have? It's crazy, and I can sell it to you. And he goes, I got this ring. It's attunement, but it summons a horse. If you need a horse, this is the thing. One time, though, and then it's gone. But, you know. <laughs> sometimes you really need a horse. I don't yeah, got no, none. A, a drunk horse. We could know. get a horse to ride our cart back. Oh, we could. Uh, ooh, should we put that on the expense? Because I got this dagger. It's called the Xerxes dagger. Xerxes. I don't know why. It does lightning damage instead of slashing damage or whatever. This is the thing. Here you go. That's shocking. You go, ha <laughs> I like this guy. You friend a welcome anytime in the shop. He goes, I got this thing right here. They say if you're really drunk, it makes you sober. I don't know why you'd want it, but they have it. Why would, hey. you, yeah, yeah. why would you want that? Put that away. Oh, God. Um, Let's see. What other I pay good money to get drunk. <laughs> he goes, I got this. It looks, it's like a little, like, uh, bell jar. And he goes... And inside, you can see the little fire that's glowing. They say it's a fire elemental, but it won't wake up for like 400 years. But it's got it. It's here. <laughs> so it's like a little bonsai tree? He's that's like, cool. yeah, yeah, totally. Bonsai tree, fire elemental. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, good. That's what I meant. Yeah. It's a bonsai yeah. tree. For <laughs> We'll put it in the window at the shop. Okay, yeah, no, we need that. Put that also, also on the expense account. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, I got this thing. You guys get, he's like, you guys look a little like beat up. You healed, but you're a little bloody. He's like, this thing, it's for the fancier folk. It's diadem, you know, for your head, diadem. Uh, and he goes, when you bleed, your blood is flaked with gold. So you bleed and it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's hilarious. 
Okay, so so far we're getting the bonsai tree, uh, and we're get we're definitely getting the horse. The owl. Mm-hmm. Um, the owl. How many of those glow rocks do we need? Like ten or twenty? Uh, I guess uh, everybody should like have one. You know? Uranium? Okay. It only glows like it's like a five foot glow, so it's like less than a candle. <laughs> Just okay. to, oh and, yeah. No, and he, he looks at you. Julius and he goes, "Wait, I got this!" And he pulls out a ring that looks like a tiny snake. And it looks like it's made out of ice. And he goes, this ring, when you wear it, the snake is carved out of unmelting ice. And it slowly just moves around and hisses. Doesn't do anything other than that. But you look Chad. like you might like it. Chad, okay. and I'm like tugging on your shoulder. We need that. Chad. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. We'll get the ring. We'll get the cool ring. But that's it. <laughs> we've, got, we've got to reach the limit. Everybody got a present, right? You got the owl. You got the bonsai. Uh, you got the ring. We all got five pieces of candy each. And, all and he's like, I've got this. It's a it's a rook from a chess set made out of a scorpion carapace. Man, oh, it's supposed to make you better at chess. Uh, whoa. Uh, no, I want no. this list when you're well, done. Bad yeah, I've got several lists. I'll give them to you. <laughs> this is amazing. I've got like six lists, and I use these often as like grab bags. Some character somewhere usually sells these. And one of my players, man, he can't say no. So, like, he, and, like, I had the guy charge them, like, a decent amount for random grab bags, and he dropped, like, legit 500 gold there. It was just like, what else you got? Let's go. Let's go. Um, You're talking about Davis, aren't you? No, no, no but Davis fell, for, he did it as also well. Did. But uh, my friend Jake, who will be on the 1 o'clock uh, on my Tuesday streams, they were trying to get, they needed to get 50 rations, because they were going to go on a long trip, 50 days worth of rations, and I put like on a list of 100 that 50 was the rations. And they're like, we need to save money to buy these rations. And the guy was, just, he wasn't Christopher Walken, but he was just like, there could be anything in this bag, even 50 days worth of rations. <laughs> <laughs> and he eventually, on like the fifth try, he rolled that. And I was like, there's 50 days worth of rations. He's like, see, good call. Let's keep going. And he just kept buying stuff from him. Um, yeah, he got one of the things he got was like dragon spice. It's ridiculously spicy things you can like spice you can add to anything, and it's the most spicy thing anyone ever tastes for anyone but you. So uh-huh. you can eat it and it's fine to you, but everybody else, it's like ghost pepper on steroids. And he's the cook of the group, so he's always like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you guys are complaining. It's fine. <laughs> So yeah, you guys get all of this stuff, and he's like, he goes, I'll tell you what, how about a free, I've been hearing about this peppermint thing you have at your shop, can I get one for free, and everything here, in, in the fun stuff, arcane devices on the house. Yeah, yeah. no, oh, yeah. Uh, now that I am a shift lead, uh, I can definitely off- authorize uh, some free drink cards. Coming your way, buddy. You're looking at like 20 free drinks. And he's like, wow, that is yeah. crazy. Chad. <laughs> Ch- yeah, man. Shit to manage Chad. What a generous <laughs> fellow. I will have. You're a generous fellow, man. Oh, yeah. It's like, I will. Sh- I will come by, visit the shop. When is your next shift? I will be there to say, like, this is my buddy Chad offered me 20 free drinks. Oh, maybe don't say that. <laughs> He's like, but are we not friends, Chad? No, yeah, no, we're super friends. No, but I mean, just like, if I'm not there... here. No, I was saying it when you're there. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, no, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, just... No, just, yeah, if I... I got He's like, you, what, when, when does your shift end? I'll be out of here uh, at nine. Y- yeah, I'll be out of here at... Ten. Ten. He's like, I will come right. by and I'm visit. I'm on Pacific time, so I was like... <laughs> I will come visit your shop as soon as I get off work at Arcanity. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. awesome. Stop on by. Well. So cool. We've got a peppermint something hmm. monster sounds... right now. He's like, it sounds uh, crazy. Okay. I will be there to see it. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be person awesome. person and getting a free drink. Hmm. You know, okay. that's what I'm after is... Friendship and free drinks, that's what they call me. <laughs> hey man, that's like the key to being happy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, 
Yeah, totally. Yeah. You guys great. Come by anytime. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. All right. We good here? High five. <laughs> High five. Yeah. High five. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys Take care, see shopkeep. And he's like, goodbye. You guys are great. See you later. <laughs> no, you're great. You guys leave. See you later, bro. <laughs> Uh, this is a magical ring, the uh, snake ring of yes. ice. And I'm like, Bill, come here, Bill. I got this for you. Oh, and the no. ring is big enough to be a little necklace that he wears around his neck. Definitely. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> I love you, Bill. <laughs> Never leave me. <laughs> and you get like the solemn snake nod. Yeah. You know. We're he's, not, he understands. he's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to get the peppermint back, guys. Yeah. Gotta do it. Let's go. Are we summoning a horse or what? Whoa, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> totally forgot. Um, I'm going to use my horse token. All right. Yeah. You summon a draft horse to pull this cart. <gasps> Is it snowy and white and beautiful? Do you Could want it? Do you it? want it to be? Yes, and covered in red ribbon and jingle bells. Yay! Sure, all of those things. <laughs> yes. Keep alongside singing jingle bells. Yes. All right, I would like you to roll me a percentile, Chad. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right, sixty-nine. <laughs> go, oh, Chad! Go, yeah. Chad! <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm I'm starting to lose my voice from doing the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Mm. Oh, Chris. So you reach into the bag to get your horse ring, and you yeah. realize he slipped a little something extra in there. What did he put oh. in my bag? He put in a scroll. You know this oh. as the only scroll in the world that contains the instructions for the Fist of Eight Drunken Gods. Secret elusive monk technique. Holy shit! Oh my god! I'm sorry, can you say that name one more time so I can yes. write it down? The, scroll, it? the only scroll in the world that contains the instructions for the Fist of Eight Drunken Gods. I feel like uh, Christopher Walken and I like really understood each other on a level that like was primal, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll just call him Christopher Walken. You never asked his name. <laughs> 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 I just assume his name is Chris. I don't know. That's fine. He probably wouldn't tell you otherwise. <laughs> oh, Chris, my dude. Um, I I take it out of my bag and I look at. I want to open it. You do. You crack the wax seal, <sighs> opening this parchment that hasn't been opened for ages. You're not sure how long <laughs> as you unveil it. And you see it is in, um, it's a circle and it is a series of movements and rotational punches in a circle. But the way it has, it also has like ways to place your feet in a sim similar fashion to sort of a drunken master style of punching but it's done in a circular motion to potentially, supposedly, you know this technique. You've only heard of it in stories. Yeah. This is supposedly a way that one individual can fend off eight enemies. No issue. The trick is the drunken swagger between strikes uh, is supposed to protect you from any oncoming attacks, but also fend off eight individuals protecting an area Known and this says this technique is known as the fist of eight drunken gods. This is so awesome, and I'm gonna show it immediately uh, to your character, Paul. You're like, Joe. Dude, we have to practice this. Dude, <laughs> we totally have to practice that. Oh my god! And okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna start jumping around in the snow in a way I think is the same as the scroll. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it still. Hold it still. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whoa. <laughs> you got like the the the, the horse. The horse. <laughs> the horse is like the horse is moving past them, 
with you two, oh. with Elena and Julius <laughs> there, like, and Bill, the horse is moving with the cart, and you guys are like, yeah, practicing. <laughs> and you got about a, about an inch on the ground now, um, just of, of the flurries beginning to accumulate a little bit. <laughs> oh, yay! Thank you guys for the donations. We're at ten fifty now. Fifty dollars. Everybody levels up, folks. Oh, yes, so that's right, Kugo. I know you were freaking out when I told you that Jordan was gonna be here in one of the streams. He was freaking out from from last night, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Too bad you weren't here for this shift." This guy, we're here. He's a great guy. You guys should all go <laughs> like. I mean, we'll talk about everybody's yeah, stuff at the end. Yeah, we're not plugging stuff now. This is D and D time. This is D and D time. <laughs> that is we right. We focus on Bill, and we focus <laughs> on the draft horse and the way of the drunken fist. The way of the eight. Yes. So you guys drunken continue. Dogs. You guys continue on, and you make it to uh, back to homebrew, and you can see that even though it's a cold winter's night, or at least late fall, really, it's not technically winter at this point. <laughs> Uh, you can see there are contractors arriving, and they're kind of there's like there's lanterns in the the shop across the street, and there's people there with plans checking and like making taking measurements and trying to prep this for what you know they have like a very rough blueprint about what they want the designs to be. So, um, what's people, the sky bridge gonna look like? Uh, you don't see anybody there for that yet. Oh, bummer. That's phase two. Phase two, Skybridge. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. They have to. The more important thing is to get the right of way from the city of Waterdeep to build something cross streetwise, because um, this is a this isn't a major thoroughfare, but it's it's a road. Like that's a whole other set of permits. Mm -hmm. They just purchase. Make sure there's enough clearance underneath, right, for the wagons. Yeah, I think it's more about tax money, how much you donate. You know, that's also part of it, right? <laughs> you know, greasing the right palms in the bureaucracy of Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. um, all good stuff. Peppermint schnapps will go a long way in helping. <laughs> you guys are. Have another. I insist. You're not. You're not at third shift level yet, but you also <laughs> haven't killed any NPCs, so that potentially puts you up unless you go with the first shifts thing is who can kill the most NPCs uh, then you guys are failing in that one hmm. um, oh whoa uh, no wait no this is the best shift ever guys yeah. so <laughs> you, you guys make your way back to the homebrew coffee shop uh, you, again you can see there's the, con the contractors are making uh, headway on setting up things for what is going to be hasn't been named yet but the homebrew um Whatever the tea shop, bake shop, gift shop is going to be called. <clears throat> so you guys make your way in. Um, and you have... You, it's a nice, warm fire is roaring. Hunter is still there playing his Christmas tunes. Dude is... I mean, he's a 17-year-old, so he's got that endurance where he hasn't stopped playing since you guys arrived. And he's still playing now. Like, you don't know if this guy took a break or not. But he's like... He's definitely got that metal vibe to him, but he seems totally content just playing like Christmas type minter minter songs in the background here. D um, does he look like he's silently screaming inside? Or you can make me an insight check, Chad. <laughs> okay, Chad. <laughs> Minus one. Let's see. Eight. <laughs> no, man, he loves it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna put a gold piece in his bucket. All right, you do. And you see uh, Caitlin comes out and sees you guys come back with all of the peppermint stuff. And she's like, good, well done. Yeah. yeah. I want to throw, like, a cloth over all of the other stuff that we Smart. came back with. Smart. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and the Meanwhile, I've got a beholder sucker in my mouth. I was just going to say, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, that was on me. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. thanks chad um <laughs> yeah <laughs> team morale is important <laughs> yeah so basically yeah you guys get this and you're able to make the peppermint sh more of the peppermint schnapps which is a big hit with everybody um nice. you guys are able to you know supply um crumbled you can now crumble up peppermint sticks to put it over top of peppermint lattes for that extra little bit of finish on there 
Peppermint um, Park. Peppermint Park. Yeah, you guys bought all of the peppermint related things from the shop. So things We got a monopoly on that shit. We now. do, yeah. <laughs> you no do reason. now. Here. Yeah. Mm. So everybody seems pretty pretty happy about nice. how things are going. Like the in let's see, did anybody else show up in the time you've been here? Um uh nope, nobody new has really come in. You see that um it's getting a little bit late for uh Betty, Mary Lou, Jane, and Hazel. Their bridge game has gone pretty long. God, so long. <laughs> um Yeah, they've been playing all day, but it's eight PM, like this is late for them. So they're gonna pack up their stuff. Um you see them definitely take some sugar packets from the table, put them in their purses. Mm -hmm. you can't find yeah, yeah they're they're local treasures it's fine <laughs> and they they make their way out of the shop and you see there's like a mad rush to get the good table in the middle because that's the one that's equidistant from the door the fire the bar the bathroom and the coffee bar who uh, wins so. Joe's gonna wipe the table down and take an obnoxiously long time <laughs> wiping down the table. Nice. Just like making idle chatter with all of these people that are obviously waiting for it. But being like, yeah, isn't the new peppermint schnapps great? Did you get one of those mochas yet? They're so good. Hang on. No, wait, let me clean that up for you too. Hang on. Hang on. I got this. Wait. Did you see there's a, a horse outside? <laughs> and there's a lot of people People that are like, like, <laughs> like ready to get the table, and you just like keep moving, and you're like gonna be like, oh, missed the spot, and go back, and they're like, oh my god, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's basically like a game of music. I put one of the new rooks on it. Yeah, right. You've got like basically a ch there is like a musical chairs of people circling the table, like following Joe as he moves around and like. <laughs> And it's like it's a it's like a kung fu exercise for him. He's doing his footwork around the edge of the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, you thought you were gonna get it. Not this time. <laughs> no, I have not forgot about your donation. We're getting there. Believe me. Uh, so you watch as um, it's too many. Well, that one will come later. Um, <laughs> so. What? Let's see. Who have you guys annoyed so far throughout the day that is willing to come back and make some trouble for these folks? All right. So you guys are there in the bar. Things are going very well. Um, everything's quiet. Uh, people are going for the table. Does Joe ever relent and let them yeah. have it? Yeah. After like 10 minutes, he gets tired of the game and then goes back and starts making espresso. Pulling okay. an absurd number of shots for other people and for himself. All right. So the three, um, the three uh, elves steal the table in the middle. They manage to get it. I'd like you all to make perception checks as they do. Okay. <laughs> That's a one. <laughs> Twelve. <got> Twenty-one. <laughs> Surveying my kingdom. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, you notice it's strange. Notice um, their ears have a seam along it. These look like fake elf ears. Hey, man, I'm not here to judge anybody who wants to be an elf. You can't. You know, you're we the all only, have dreams. You're the only one who sees it. So. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> 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 Except I do everything because I love my job. Fair enough. All right. So as thing goes on, as time goes on, rather, you notice that um, th like it is pretty much like status quo. Things are going well. Nothing, nothing too much to complain about, really. Um, it's actually a pretty good night. Things go by easily. So, however. After about 15-20 minutes after you guys have been there, you watch as the door swings open and the cool night air rushes in, calms things down for a little bit. And you see as walking in from this place, you see Bob. 
from the previous tea shop across the street. Ooh. And there's like a little bit of a a lull as people stop and Hunter stops playing music. And everybody in here is looking. And what you guys may or may not have known is that Kellum, the Eladrin bard from the previous shift, incited a riot and basically in a very much Gaston kill the beast method singing down the street convinced all of the townspeople to ransack this tea shop. Oh man. Um oh, most, <laughs> most of which are your patrons in the bar now. So there's definitely like a, like a start. <laughs> Everybody's as, like give him a schnapps. <laughs> and he schnapps. and he's like I knew. I told them I'd be back. He's like I don't know how they did it. How they managed to kill half of my work staff <laughs> and all of the patrons in my shop with seemingly just a drink and made everyone disappear and reappear dead. But I knew they did it. I had no proof, but I know. I know they were involved. And it's time for recompense. And he puts his hand out and he goes, Attack! And you watch us filing in from behind him are a bunch of people dressed head to toe in black with black masks, kind of fenced over bug eyes, red headbands on their head, and they're all wielding ninja weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I need everybody to make initiative rolls, please. This is the best day ever! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no <laughs> I'm gonna fight a ninja army! Yes! Seven. <laughs> Seven for LNA. Twenty-one. Twenty-one for Julius. Joe. Seventeen for Joe. Holy crap! Chad. Nineteen. Nineteen. The ninja squad. <laughs> yes. Um. So last, when was the last time you saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two? Secret I, of the Ooze. God, so long ago. <laughs> team up, dance, ninja fighting at the yes, end of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, then Bob. Who we I'm established gonna my water real fast. Yeah, that's fine. Bob, who we established earlier, was a cleric. Um for those of you who missed out, you missed Father Merrin from the Exorcist arrive uh earlier on to save a child who was murdered. Um that was I like I'm I'm very glad for the people who got it because I went through very painstaking efforts to try to recreate his dialogue. But about rescuing a child who died. So thank you for everyone who got that. It's been a wild ride so far, folks, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. I want to run to the bathroom while she's. Yep, that's fine. Well, I mean, Chad is getting water. Yeah. Chad goes to get water. LNA's like, oh, bye, break. Uh, and first up in this combat, you see there is. There are. Let me find a good ninja stat here. One that's not going to murder you guys. Because <laughs> I was like, ooh, these ones are interesting. Oh, challenge rating eight. Mm, no, probably not. Oh, how many? I'm sorry, how many were there? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Once uh, I figure out what the stat is, I'll tell you how many of them there are. There. Um, so Bob is a cleric of at least repute enough to bring someone back from the dead. Because you went to ask him... Uh, and then you're like, anybody need a cleric? And he's like, I'm a cleric. And you're like, anybody else a cleric? Yes, shut up, we <laughs> Man. And he was like, and he had his sign out front, who wants hot bean juice when you can have tea? He was a dick. Oh, he deserved everything that happened to him. And he threw me out of his shop. Chad doesn't get thrown out of anywhere. Everybody loves Chad. Well, Obviously. they did it for that bar last weekend, Chad. You did get kicked out of there. Uh, I don't remember it, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> we okay, take a but either way, we can't go back there this weekend. <laughs> Damn, take I like that off. place. <laughs> How adorable the puppy was right before Faye just sat down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can get a feel of you. There he is. Hey, <laughs> Aww. Aww. All right. There are. Mm. What do we have? We got Claire. We got one AOE potential person possibly here. All right. So we're gonna go with twelve ninjas. <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> twelve ninjas. 
<laughs> I and, love it. And Bob. And we'll go with one, like, elite ninja who's sort of like Bob's right hand. Nice. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Julius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're up uh, first. Julius jumps behind the coffee uh, table. Yep. Um, the like bar, uh, and brings up a bow and says, "You need to leave right now." And I'm gonna cast Hail of Thorns because I am scared of how many ninjas there are. I'm gonna fire an arrow. <laughs> and how many can I hit with Hail of Thorns? <laughs> um, how close are these guys together? They're sort of. They've sort of fanned out in a circle, kind of around you. But depending on where you target, you could probably hit four of them. Plus right. The arrow plus, it's the, I think it's the arrow plus the explosion, right? It's creatures within five feet. So yeah, the arrow would hit a guy and then any five feet around that guy. So you so could like potentially shoot players. Bob, hit the, the elite uh, ninja and then uh, the other, then two others if you wanted, or four of the peons. Uh, let's do the peons and try to get them out of there. So I'm going to fire at a peon. Okay, so go ahead and make an attack roll first for attack the Attack roll! The arrow. Um, 21. 21 hits. Sweet. D8. That is a 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. All right, 9 and to that one. They need to make a dexterity, all of them need to make a dexterity saving throw if they got hit by this. They all fail. As a hail of thorns flies down on them. And then roll that damage. Eight damage. All right. Failed. They all fail, so four. All right, so they are all peppered with this spray. The one you hit with the arrow does not look like he's doing so hot. The other ones take it and kind of shrug it off, and you watch as they pull forth. Um, let's give them all manner of ninja weapons, right? You see some are like whew, dual katanas. You got a couple with size. There's a yeah. nunchuck guy. There's a yeah. guy swinging the chains with a kusari gama. You got a guy with a glaive. You got you got the whole <laughs> gambit. Uh, you got like dual tanfa guy. A whole gambit of ninja weapons here. Oh, so um, cool. For all of you martial artist nerds out there like me, you've got all of them. Pretty much everything you could think of is here in some form or another. Um, you got your guy with your bow staff because why not? He's here too with the quarter staff. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So that uh, happens. Bill is going to attack Bob. Okay. He's so, very sneaky. He's weaving in between their feet while they're like very focused on us and dodging arrows. Mm -hmm. um, and he's going to, yeah, that's like a 20 plus stuff. That's going to hit Bob. 16 yeah. 16 plus a lot. It's 20. Um, and so this guy needs to make a constitution saving throw. So he gets bit first. How much was the damage? Um, uh, Eight. Okay. Eight. Piercing damage. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I think he's making a con save, you said. Yep. Ooh, that's a three. Oof. All right. So this was really good. He takes uh, 14 poison damage. Damn. Bill's right. MVP. He's like way stronger than my actual. <laughs> Bill for president. All right. He does not look like he's doing too hot. This was not expected. He didn't see, he didn't expect the snake attack. Um, and I give Bill a thumbs up. Yeah, you're doing really well. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, buddy, you're good. I'm gonna hide behind this counter. <laughs> yeah, get him. Okay, that is Julius's turn. Uh, the Ninja Squad is up yeah. next. I need to roll for the Elite Ninja first. Oh. They go the Elite Ninja. He goes last in order here. So we have all twelve ninjas left. Um. And while this is happening, uh, Bob says, who's in charge here? <laughs> That's me. I'm the shift lead. <laughs> and he goes, get him. And he points. Oh, shit. <laughs> and you watch as, let's see, one, two, three. All right. So um, one, of the, uh, one of the ninja squad will stay back with the elite ninja to guard Bill. One ninja each will go to you, Julius, to try to get you behind the bar. He can't get to you over the bar, but he's going to try to make an attack. He's, we'll say he's the Kusari Gama guy, so he's going to try to, like, flip the chain over the bar to hit you. You do have half cover. Okay. Or are you crap? You said you're crouching? Uh, yeah, I kind of, like, got up, fired an arrow, and then, like, hid back underneath it. 
We'll call it three quarters cover then. Thank okay. You. Your son was upset you weren't wearing this. I will put on. Thank you for all of the candy and snacks. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm so jealous. I want the candy. Guys, <laughs> the Christmas tree cakes. Oh, shit. We got oh, peppermint coated pretzels. Of course. We have to have peppermint. We got pumpkin spice pretzels. A little bit out of season, but that's okay. What madness is that? What? Pumpkin spice pretzels? We got sourlicious fruit punch Mike and Ike's. Oh, man. I need, to, I need to get a clear. Cherry Cola Mike and Ike's. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yo. We got some gummy bears. Always solid. And we got... I think that's it. Yep, we got uh, Mike and Ike Mega Mix. So, thank but, you. Yeah. Brought to you by Sugar. And yeah, also, uh... <laughs> the Mountain Dew and pizza. You said you got... Oh my god, you guys are great. You're the best. You want me to bring the pizza down here? No, it's okay, because if you put it anywhere else, around here, I won't have room, yeah. and the dogs will eat it over there. Thank you. Okay. You're the best. Love it. Me too. All right. Oh, Hit a wipe up. Be <laughs> I am not. Um, thank you. I only have blow pops. Um, so. <laughs> I don't have nothing. I know, I don't have anything either. Kusari Gama guy goes for Julius behind the counter with three quarters cover. Um, dual Katana guy goes for Joe. Um, Bo Steph, actually we'll go with like a, like a Chibari, like the hammer, like the big kind of rounded head hammer. We'll go for LNA. Uh, one guy hangs back with the elite squad, elite ninja to protect Bob, and the other eight rush chat. <laughs> You bring it. So. Oh, eight, you say? I did say. Perfect. <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll right. see. So, Julius, over the bar is. It is a 17 on the roll, but you have a plus five to your AC. All right, so I have a 15 AC normal, so that's a 20 AC that I have. So right you here. watch as the chain with the weight on the end comes crashing over the bar, and it misses you, and it swings around. It, like, breaks a glass underneath the bar. The swing around. You're and for that. And, <laughs> and he pulls it back over the bar. So dual katana guy comes to you, Joe. He's got a 14 and a... Uh, Oh, actually, hang on, Julius. He's got two attacks. Oh, okay. I'm oh, no. Out. Natural 20 on the second attack. Oh. Uh... You're going to... I, I, I rolled like crap. So you're going to take eight points of piercing damage, or bludgeoning damage, rather, as okay. it comes over and it hits you. So for Joe, the first one was a 14. That misses, right? Yeah, yeah. I got a 17. All right, second attack is a 16, and then offhand is a 12. So he's swinging at you with these flurry of katana strikes. How are you? Are you dodging? Are you blocking? How is this what happening? Uh, I reach over the bar, and I grab a couple of the, the stainless <laughs> uh, steaming pitchers. Yeah, nice. And I start blocking, and like I catch one of them in the pitcher. Beautiful. And, like, sweep it away. Uh, yeah, and I'm parrying and fighting him off with steaming pitchers. Great. <laughs> uh, and then the, the the hammer guy comes up to you, LNA, with a 10 on the first swing and a 20 on the second. 20 hits. All right, so you are going to take from the swing of this hammer seven points of bludgeoning damage. My god, I'm rolling with garbage. Ow. All right, Chad. You're surrounded by eight ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, sorry, my fire alarm went off, everybody, so that's why I had to break the immersion for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. I just took out the batteries. All right. <laughs> I'm going to roll the attacks. You tell me which, what's your AC. That'll be easier. 16. All right, you keep track of the hits and tell me how okay. many. So that's one hit. <laughs> Miss. 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 Wow. Miss. Miss. What? Miss. Your boy! 
<laughs> 17? Yeah, that'll, so two. That's two, have you, uh, so I don't even know how many hits I've done so far. Oh, a, I Or how many attacks I've made, but that's fine, we'll keep going. Miss. <laughs> Miss. I'm not even, like, I haven't rolled above a 10, this is insane <laughs> for me. Celeste knows, I almost not... murdered her last week. Oh yeah, no, I had a 23 AC and you hit me with every single attack over the course of a battle, so. I did like 350 <laughs> damage to her over heals, but, uh, uh -huh. 14... Oh, that's an 18. All right. So. Three. <laughs> you watch as, you all watch as these eight ninjas come at you with all manner of different strikes. And perhaps it was reading that scroll. You don't know. But you watch as Chad's movements take on a strange behavior. <laughs> A sort of drunken stumbling as yeah. Chad swerves, and it's not perfect. Chad read the scroll once and manages to get through 16 attacks in come. <laughs> Chad gets hit by three. Moving, dodging. Chad, you will take a grand total of 10. <laughs> The secret 11. ninja master. All I ever wanted was to be the ninja warrior, and he's living his dream. <laughs> 17 points of piercing damage from all of these attacks as you dodge the other 13 strikes. Bless you, Chad. My boy. <laughs> Chad, it's your oh, turn. God. Chad is stunned that that happened uh but he is invigorated now and yeah he's totally leaning into the way of the fist of the eight drunken gods as he goes and he's going to try and attack all of these fools around him so let's start off um all right i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna karate chop one okay okay yep 26 uh chad i would like you to make me a wisdom check with advantage. Oh, okay. A natural 20. <laughs> Chad, as you've watched, so basically if you imagine Chad at the start of this fight, it's like, it's like Neo fighting uh, Agent Smith for the first time, like starting to get the dodging, still getting hit. And somehow with your natural 20, like you kind of enter this like sort of mini meditative state amongst these people and you it all clicks right the movements the foot placement the hand strikes everything starts to make sense to you in your brain and you are able to for the moment tap in to the way of the eight drunken gods you can make one attack against each of these enemies at advantage oh sweet that's your action <laughs> that's your action but go ahead Okay, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do with myself. Um, okay, so the first one would be a 26. That hits. Okay, uh, so that'll be six damage. Okay. All right, next guy. 20. Hits. Uh, all right, six more damage. Mm -hmm. Next guy. Twin oh, advantage, right. Um, 26. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's going to be eight damage. Mm -hmm. Next guy. Uh, 25 to hit. That's going to be 9 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, next guy. 20. Not natural. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's going to be 10 damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so many. <laughs> um, 20 not natural again. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be 12 damage. 26. Yep. That's going to be 9 damage. Mm -hmm. One more. Okay, thank God you're counting. Um, okay, that's going to be 18. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and that's going to be 10 damage. So yeah. you watch as this happens in a craze, weird thing you've never seen. Joe, you are blown away. You see and you know from having looked at the scroll, you know what this is. You've, see, you've only heard of this. You saw it once, you practiced it a little bit, but somehow, perhaps it's the elevation to shift leader. Who knows <laughs> what it could be. 
<laughs> something <laughs> has tapped into Chad's untapped potential <laughs> and has unlocked it. As you watch, as in a flurry of movements, Chad strikes out, taking out the first foe, the one that Julius hit with an arrow, and just continues to around and hit each of these enemies once. Them taking damage, not necessarily uh, passing out or being killed, but they all have been softened up by this m flurry of movements around Chad. And as you finish, you know what? I'll, I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit, Celeste. Describe to me as best you can how this flurry of movements happens in a circle around these guys. Sure. Uh, so I think, <laughs> yeah, just all of a sudden, Chad is kind of like standing there dumbly after like avoiding all of these attacks. And all of a sudden, he flips his hat. Oh, man. Around the front <laughs> side. And then he just starts going, it's high, it's low, as he's throwing out like his foot and tripping people as they go along and then swinging like gracefully with his arms as he just like pop, 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 pop uh, in a circle. And then he stands up and uh, he raises his two fists above his head and he screams, Ninja Warrior! All right, so all of that happens. And for you, my avatar, the last airbender friends, if you can imagine as each strike is hitting, this is very reminiscent to Aang and Zuko through the Dance of the Dragon phase where they're doing all of the different movements. Similar to that, and as each strike hits, Chad, you see it as no one else does. The kind of, the, the, the grant, like the different pentagram symbols, not pentagram, but the different icons, trigrams, that, trigrams yeah, that you saw on your, on your way around on this scroll. Each one, like you see it, the movements, it hits, it connects, it glows as you're doing, as you make all of these strikes. You put your hands up at the end, and then as you kind of center yourself, hand behind your back, you watch as the final glyph lights up in the air above you. Everything glows in a circle, and in the air above you, there's a culmination of this light, and something drops and lands in your hand, and you pull it around behind you. And there is the six-star Dragon Ball in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, I don't know what to do with myself. Well, it's not your turn anymore. So, Just... <laughs> Joe, it's your turn. You did it, dude! You did it! <laughs> Holy shit, man! Um, and then he uh, remembers that he's actually fighting somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and so. He's gonna throw out a, a sidekick at him. Uh, actually, no, he's gonna throw the two pitchers. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so those will be, that'll be his attacks. All right, so, make me two attacks. Uh, that'd be a 14. All right, uh, that will hit. Oh, sweet. Uh, can I use my martial arts die for that? Why not? Yeah. You're inspired by Chad's drunken thing. You temporarily tap into your ed your inner drunken master, and you have proficiency with improvised weapons for the moment <laughs> through the inspiration of, of Chad's abilities. Excellent. Uh, so that'll be six points of damage then. All right, for both or just one? Uh, just for one. That All was right. for the first one. Yep, second one. Second one. That's a uh, 19. So, 19 to hit, and 8 damage for that one. Alright, so that guy is beat up too. Um, you guys feel like you've pretty much bloodied just about everybody in this bar at this point. With the exception of the one who's fighting Elena and the Elite Ninja. Speaking, uh, uh, let's see. And then. Oh wait, uh, can I get my... Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, of course. Oh yeah, I'm monking it up, so I'm Let's gonna do it. spend a key to get my flurry of blows against this guy. So two pitchers, smack him in the face, and then, uh, yeah, I jump forward and punch him twice more uh, while he's recovering. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, well, that's only an 11. That, unfortunately, he puts up, like, the flat of the blade, and, like, you just punch the flat of the blade, and he blocks it, uh -huh. and then he centers back, and you have your second attack here. Oof. Oh, that's a natural 20, though. That is Ooh, always a hit, so let's see it. Woot! Oh, yeah. yeah, and a six. So, is it double after you add your modifier? Uh, double before the mod. 
Okay, so that'll be 12 plus 4, 16. Uh, all right. Yeah, you managed to, with this final piss, uh, piss punch, wow, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> you, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, actually. Uh, hit Do you have to pee the final piss? I, 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 I hit a little bit. Break? <laughs> no, but you, man, you do take this guy out. You knock the piss right out of him. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So that is two two of twelve ninjas dead. <laughs> yeah. Nice. nice. Um, then it is um, it is Bob's turn. And Bob is just like he's not happy with what's going down. He sees that clearly Chad is the leader here. <laughs> And he points at you, Chad. Yeah. And he says, Chad. He knows your name, apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, you threw me out of your store. You want some leaf water? <laughs> and he says, I'll show you leaf water. And he he drops his he put he, he puts down his piss. he puts down his shield and he throws his mace away. And he goes like this. And he puts his hands back. Oh no. And he uh -oh. just let's make an attack roll. <gasps> that is a twenty-three. Uh yeah. Oh no. <sighs> I'm getting <And> Hadouken. <laughs> basically, yeah. Or tea leafed. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting tea leafed. Ooh. So he and then he reaches forward and a beam of guiding bolt energy shoots forth from his outstretched hands. Oh, no. Impacts you, and I rolled like a boss in this one. So that's 10, that is 19, uh, 36 points of radiant damage impact you from this blast. And you are currently glowing as the next attack against you has advantage. Chad goes oh. down. The, oh no. Oh no. The power of the fist of the eight drunken gods is apparently too much for one mortal being to handle <laughs> as, as Chaz falls unconscious from this blast of energy no. from Bob. Help me, guys. Death saving throws are bad. <laughs> uh, but speaking of helping and death saving throws, Elena, you are next. Um, I will... Help me. Can I move over to Chad without... An attack of opportunity, or well, now that um, hmm, I, th yeah, I don't know. I think you might have to take it just because the distance, because you have to get through the ninja ring. It's around. <laughs> so I don't know if you like two or three <laughs> attacks of opportunity. You could probably get you'd get the one from the one you're hitting, but to move through them, you wouldn't be moving out of their range, but you'd be in the midst of the circle. Hmm. Do you have healing word? Uh, yeah, I actually do. So right. I guess I'll do that. Alright, that works. <laughs> but <laughs> stuck in a ninja circle with you. Uh, or it is D4, right? Uh, yeah. Unless you upcast. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Chad. Sweet Chad. Other dice over here, sure. <laughs> this was in the biggest build. day of your life, Chad. <laughs> so that's eight points back all right chad for, uh pretty much everybody in the group so anyone who has oh mass healing word very nice yeah do that eight points for the party anyone else who took damage yeah and then uh you still have an action can i cast a bonus action as an action unfortunately no that doesn't work that way sadly fun uh so cantrips attacks any of that stuff yeah, I guess I'm going to do uh, the, yeah, I guess Sacred Flame again. On who? Um, One of the guys who softened up around Chad so that he doesn't go right back down. Fair oh, well, enough. Eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> My chances aren't great. I mean, it's right. something. <laughs> he is going to, what's your save, DC? Uh... Probably only has 15, but 16. Yeah, I just want to verify. Yeah, 16. Oh, yeah, he fails. We got 15. So Awesome. So, two it's eight. just 5, right? It doesn't get modifier added, right? No, just, just 2d8. Yeah, oh, um, my bad. Then, uh, 11. 
Better number. Yeah, one of the guys goes down. Yes. You watch as the radiant light comes down on one of the guys you fought around you, Chad, and he falls unconscious. Or he's dead, actually. He doesn't fall unconscious. He's dead. Yeah, I'm lying on the ground like... Shh. I'm <laughs> dead. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, after... Uh, Helena is uh, the ninja, the elite ninja. He, uh, he steps forward. And what kind of stats are we going to give this guy? Let's make him... Yeah, that can be him. So he steps forward. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Huh? So he steps forward. Don't scare us. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chad. And he looks down at you, Chad. And he says, pathetic. Oh, uh, no. Dad? <laughs> Natural 20 as he boots to the face, Chad on the ground. No. Uh, Are you killing Chad right now for your reels? Oh, no. Chad, you take four points of damage. From the first kick. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Second attack. <laughs> 18. To hit? Yeah. Yeah. Chad, you take three points of damage. Have one. As he kicks you in the face. <laughs> I'm coughing at blood and I have one hit points left. And Chad's like, <clears throat> just trying to have the best shift ever, man. <laughs> and he'll draw forth a dagger. He'll th- and he'll throw it at uh, Elena. See if he can hit you with this dagger. We got a 13, so I'm assuming that misses. Yes, actually. <laughs> Thankfully. So he misses with the dagger. Then um, it's going to go back to the top. Julius. Julius is going to stand up from the bar. Yep. He's going to look at uh, Bob uh-huh. right in the face. Bob's a cleric, right? Yeah. And he says... Bro, can you heal my friend Chad? <laughs> and I cast suggestion. <laughs> yes, that is cool. DC uh, thirteen. He needs to make a wisdom saving throw. This is a hell mary, but we'll see if it works. Please, 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 please. Can somebody donate a disadvantage to the DM right now? You also can <laughs> donate natural ones are an option as well. Somebody. Oh, what did What did you say it was? DC thirteen. That is a 10. Yes! <laughs> Pin kick! <laughs> so I'm like, heal my friend! He walks over to you, and he doesn't have to use a high level slot, because he doesn't. So he heals you for six <laughs> points of healing, Chad, as the compulsion leaves. The Chad's man! <laughs> Anything else? I, uh, I say thank you, and I get my snake to get out of the way. I'm like, go go over by the fireplace. Okay. <laughs> Bill slithers away. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. That is my turn. <laughs> well and done. Turn. <laughs> um, all right. Then it is uh, the ninja squad. <laughs> no. So did you duck back down after you did that? Julius? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, if you'll, if you'll, I mean, I didn't say it, but if you'll allow me to, I ducked back down, because I'm, I was hiding behind the bar, yeah. Kusari Gama guy swings over the top. You still have a plus five AC, so he rolls an 18. I think that misses. Uh, that 20 misses, yeah. Or, I've got a 20 AC. And these goes for the second strike with a 16. That comes over, he breaks two more glasses behind the bar. You're still paying for those. <laughs> <laughs> um... Not on my watch. <laughs> One of the ninja squad surrounding Chad breaks free to come for you, Joe. Having watched their um, their two katana wielding friend fall, he stops ten feet away as he swings <laughs> forward with his glaive at you. Oh, it's a twenty to hit. <laughs> yeah, that that'll hit. You will take. Six points of damage as he swings down at your leg and kind of knocks your left leg open. 
swings a second time with a natural 20 as he brings the half or like the half of the glaive straight up and just nut shots. Oh, oh, no, rude. I'm be a little oh, oh rude. So rude. 10 points of damage as he hits oh. you in the nuts. My do all, of the, do all of the ninjas go ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right. We've got our hammer, gentlemen. Going after. Oh no. It's an 18. Yeah, that hits. Okay. If that's for me. Yes. I will say, just to throw it out there, because I said it, but it may have gotten lost in the shuffle. If you're a class that wanted to, would have spent money to purchase plate mail, you would have had enough money to do that. If that would have affected. I, had, I think I had a plate, just a breastplate. Well, I'm like, just saying, if you want, if you would have wanted plate mail, you could have had it. Just to throw it out there. Um, her AC is 14, so I honestly I don't, don't remember how I worked it all out. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there in case sure. that comes up. Um, sure. Okay, so it doesn't matter. If it still hits with an 18, then. Um, do you have a shield too, or no? I do believe I gave her one, but I don't have it on my sheet. This was I'm, for a previous one shot back in September, so. What's your strength modifier? Uh, plus four. That's something else I noticed when I was going over this. Uh, we were supposed to use all 18s for that one shot, and I was like, I noticed, and I was like, oh, crap. It's I fine. Like, so I'll tell you what. Okay. Even though it's towards the end of this, we'll retrofit it. It would make sense for a life cleric who is proficient with heavy armor. Mm -hmm. if, you can, if you could afford to wear plate mail and have a shield, that would make sense. So yeah. we'll say your AC is 20. Congratulations. Oh, cool. You're like, oh, I forgot to put my shield arm up. So you block that attack. Sure, thanks. <laughs> um, and the second one misses with a 13. Awesome. So um, that's that member. That's two members, uh, or three members of Ninja Squad. And there is a remaining uh, six. Chad, can you survive it again? Oh, man, got a donation. I got a potion that I'm going to drink as soon as I possibly can. Thank you, PDX. Okay. <laughs> I, I, hurt, I hurt so ouch. Oh, is this for me that you're rolling here? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, f I figured after, you know, the eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you will have five hits on you, Chad. <laughs> There's no way I'm surviving that. Hmm. Three points. Okay. Three points. Okay. Four points. I'm down. All right. You have two failed death saving throws, Chad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you guys. Somebody forced me in my own potion. I got you, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're done. Unfortunately, do you know whose turn is next? Are you going to kill me? You're going to kill Chad. He had six dragon balls. No, he was uh, so close. <laughs> oh, oh, no. All right, bring it on. Well, Chad, it's your turn. I need to it. make a saving throw. You do. Right? Do you have any rerolls or anything of that nature at this point? I do not. Okay. So this is just a roll. Well, good sir, Chad. It's a DC 15 death saving throw due to coffee grinder mode. No. <laughs> Roll well, good sir. Okay. This is my Chris Perkins dice. Don't fuck me, Chris Perkins. I mean, well, oh, weird. Oh, okay. Here we go. Chad. Chad. That is an 18, motherfucker. No. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> All right, that is oh, Chad's my turn. Boy. My beautiful boy. Joe, it is your turn. Oh, um, God. So, Chad, were you getting... Did you have, like, a potion? Like You see it on, on Chad's belt. There's a potion <laughs> there. Okay. 
<sighs> um, yeah, so then uh, he's gonna, Joe is gonna take off towards the center of the ninja ring. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, slide past him to get uh, next to Chad and go, Chad, you gotta do it, bro. You gotta chug. <laughs> I know God. you can. Chug, oh chug, God. chug. And yes. starts pouring the potion. Uh, did you um, did you disengage? I missed that. Or were you um, prompt? Oh, you know, you took your guy out. Oh, another guy yeah, came yeah, up yeah. to hit you. Though I made him piss himself. That's right. But you made there was the guy with the glaive. Oh, that's right. There was that guy. Uh, let's see. You could Can disengage still... with a key point if you wanted. Um. It's yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So, all right, you do that, you get in there, and Chad had a 44 plus 4 healing potion on him. So, I'll let Joe roll 44 plus 4. All right. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, bro. I was just donated a natural 20. Oh. No. No, leave Chad alone. <laughs> He's a good boy. Was Even that for you, or was that meant for the players? Uh, no, that was for 15. me. 15 um, hit points, Chad. Oh, Chad, Chad's back. <laughs> For a um, bit. <laughs> let's see. And then, oh, diseng I had to disengage with my bonus action, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Now, Chad's still on the ground. <laughs> You're standing here by Chad. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> brother. <laughs> it's cool, bro. I got Thanks. you. You're the best. <laughs> Pull you up. <laughs> um, then it's Bob's turn. <laughs> And he says, why won't you just die? Because <laughs> I believe in love, Bob. Clearly you don't with your stupid leaf water. <laughs> what's, what's your AC, Chad? <laughs> 16. You watch as in a similar fashion, he draws back to blast another uh, guiding bolt at you, but he rolls a 15. <laughs> yeah. And it impacts the dirt next to you. Psh! It's the power of love. Oh, I swear, yeah. there's no dirt, man. That's right. It impacts the wood <laughs> floor right next to you. Fair. Good point. We're going to um, have to refinish that now, damn it. <laughs> I did it last time. It's your turn. <laughs> All, right. All right. That is Bob's turn. Then it is the elite ninja um, who, is ne who had been kicking Chad in the face. <laughs> and he turns to you, Joe, and he says, if you care for him so much he'll join him in death even though chad's alive and he will strike <laughs> and he will strike out at you with a scimitar joe this is such a good bad the, b movie that's the <laughs> worst ninjas ever <laughs> it's a 19 to hit oh, yeah that hits and then a 19 to hit yeah. and then a third 19 in a row what I rolled a 14 three times in a row. <laughs> Nicely done. 16 <laughs> points of slashing damage. 16? Between all Total. three slices, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm still up. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> this is rough. Not then, so much. <laughs> it's Julius' turn. Uh, all right, I'm going to bonus action Hail of Thorns. I'm going to whisper to my bow, fly true, and I'll stand up and I'm going to attack Bob and hopefully a bunch of little ninjas that are around him. Yep, all right. All right, Bob, you're going down. Uh, 18. That hits. All right. Oh, and I'm casting that at second level. Sorry, I was intending that. I marked it on my sheet. That's fair. I trust you. Uh, seven damage from the arrow. To Bob, right? To Bob. And then 2d10 to everybody around him and him. Okay. Uh, which is only five. All right. Oof, that's rough on 2d10. Yeah. <laughs> um, five, you said. Um, math. And, all right. So Bob is still up. Um, and all of the ninjas are still up. They all look really rough <laughs> from this image. What about Bill? Bill is uh, going in for the attack. He's against? behind him. Against Bob. Oh, no. Bill versus Bob. 
The ultimate showdown. All right, yes, all right, Bill. Let's let's roll that damage for Bill. Oh, Bill. He's the only one who kills things. It's not a ton. <laughs> uh, it's 11 damage. And then he has to make a con save. And then make a con save, and he takes half of this. Or all of it if he fails. He takes half if he fails? Yeah. Well, he took... He had one hit point left. And he <laughs> rolled an 18 on his save. So he saves, but he still... <laughs> I rolled a... It doesn't matter. He takes at least one point. The yeah, poison yeah. from Bill... <laughs> courses through Bob's vein and he's like and he drops to his knees <coughs> coughing venom and blood spitting from his nose like no I wasn't supposed to die and he falls over dead <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk <laughs> mm -hmm. clutch saved by Bill good job god Bill Bill for it. MVP seriously yeah. um wow and then it is the ninja squad, the remainder of the ninja squad. And you see that like half of them are like, oh shit, uh, boss isn't here. I got no beef with you later, guys. And they walk out. <laughs> You're like, see you later, bro. I'm like, but you have to pay for these glasses as they like run out of the room. But half of them remain as they're leaving like the elite ninja like kicks it down and says fools and he's, he turns back and he's still there and so it's the elite ninja and four regular ninjas are still there Yikes. so the four regular ninjas will fan out and each one will attack each of you so julius from behind the bar you sorry gama guy didn't leave he's pissed okay. he hasn't hit you yet <laughs> he's trying Three, eight. He misses both times. Two more broken glasses. Yeah, he's getting so angry that he's not agreeing <laughs> so to these. So many, so <laughs> yeah. many glasses. Joe, so sweeping to do. <laughs> Joe, two misses on you. Sweet. I don't know. Two misses on you, and two strikes at Chad. <laughs> natural twenty. <laughs> Nat, just the natural twenty. Damn! Chad, you'll take eight points of damage. Uh, I'm still up. All right, Chad, it's your turn. God damn it! Okay, wow, this is crazy. Uh, all right, I am gonna kick this guy's ass. Karate okay. chops to the neck. Let's see it. <laughs> Are we seeing it? That's a uh, twenty-seven. That hits. Uh, that'll be seven points of damage. Well, this guy goes down. Cool. I'm gonna run to the next closest one, the one on my good friend, my other monk friend here. Yep. Okay, uh, that'll be a 16 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. I'm gonna karate chop him. Six damage. He also goes down. I'm gonna flurry of blows. Uh, wait, wait. Can yeah. I do that? Yep. Can I move over to the other? All right. Flurry of blows. Boom. I'm gonna punch the one attacking. Fae. This isn't 3-5. You can move in flurry of blows. Well, uh, I never play monks. Chad is barely a monk, so uh, a 24 to hit. That hits. And that'll be 10 damage. This guy also goes down. Last punch for Buckaroo. I'm going to kick him in the back of the head. All right. Well, I got a 12. 12 is the number. <laughs> they're just wearing, like, they're just wearing cloth. They're not wearing armor. Nine. That's enough. Last guy goes down. Then it's just the elite ninja remains. And he looks to you, Chad, mm. and he says, Well done. <laughs> and he goes like this, and he disappears. Oh. And it drops at his feet is a last remaining Dragon Ball. Chad is gonna like look around. He's gonna be very, very quiet. And he's gonna go and he's gonna pick up the seventh Dragon Ball and he's gonna hold all of them in his hands. You have them all. What happens? I don't know. What do you do? 
This is the fun uh, part for those of us who watch Dragon Ball Z and see, know. I've never watched it. <laughs> oh no! Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I know the Eternal Dragon comes out and I get a wish, but I do not know how to activate these things. Can I make a um a commune with the martial arts gods check? You can, or you can ask Joe. You feel like Joe knows what's going on. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Um, I feel like this is really special and important. Uh, yeah, but how do I, like, you I know? Think, I think you got to start juggling them. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. sweet. Yeah. I love juggling. I really have no idea. I was never that big into Dragon Ball. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> can I make a... Chat, help me. <laughs> Is it, <laughs> this is so <laughs> hilarious. Do I dye my hair blonde? I just googled how to summon Shenron. It's fine, guys. Hang on. Wait, yeah. uh, Julius knows a dragon's like a snake, right? <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn to Julius. Hey, uh, <clears throat> oh, this is for the video game. That does not helpful at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Um, can you? Uh, nope. <laughs> Oh, come on. Let me make a check of some kind. <laughs> Please, Ted. Are we out of combat? Yeah, you guys are out of combat. I can go over and heal uh, my shift manager. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. While well, I'm staring my, at these seven balls. points. I already rolled. Um, I'm going to put them in a circle and start doing cool karate moves. <laughs> All right. You can make me a wisdom check. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is such a problem. Um... Okay, I got a 15. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh. Just sit in the center and, like, meditate. Mm. <laughs> okay. It will say that the phrase comes to you. Okay. And this may be a, um, I can't remember. Because I want to say, like, I know there was a difference between like the four kids version of it. But yeah, I was going to say, I think it's Eternal Shenron, by your name I summon you forth. But I don't know if I want to be like a dick to split this between like the Mechie and Dragon Balls and be like, do you speak Draconic, Chad? Oh. I wrote literally I nothing say, down in my proficiencies or language box. So. Rise Shenron. That's all you Suddenly, have to say. Chad Let's... learns Draconic. <laughs> all right, Chad. Sure. The chant must be performed in an Amecan language, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak Namekan? And you uh, just send me home and I just got all seven Dragon Balls and nothing ever happened. I thought about being a dick like that, but we'll say you do. <laughs> and you watch as the whole room goes dark. A lightning bolt comes down. And as you walk outside, because I assume you're going to not summon Shenron inside. No, I'm going to go in the street. But I'm gonna invite everybody in the shop to come out and watch as. And you watch as the heavens come up, and this beam of light comes up, and this large serpentine Whoa. dragon appears, and it looks down at you, Chad, and it says, "What is your wish?" <laughs> oh shit! That's so cool. Um, I wish to be the CEO of Homebrew. <laughs> And I want Bill the Snake to be my CFO. <laughs> and he says, your wish has been granted. And you watch as all of the seven Dragon Balls float up into the sky, and then in beams of like, poof, shoot off in seven different directions scattered across Faerun. Your wish, and you all see before you, Chad, CEO of Homebrew, and Bill, C CFO Bill the Snake. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Bill. I had no idea you rise to these ranks. I'm so proud. <laughs> We're gonna do such good things together, Bill. <laughs> and I told you all. <laughs> We're gonna point at the shop. Yeah. <laughs> and Best shift ever. And High they're five. like, "What did High you five. tell us, boss?" Oh my god, I just start crying. Chad just starts crying when people say that. Um, I'm sorry, what did you say? I totally missed that. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It doesn't matter now. Chad's the CEO of Homebrew. <laughs> <laughs> I 
feel that means you have to stay up for the rest of the time, unless you can comment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chad I'm reveals himself off, yeah. as the undercover boss yeah. in this scenario. <laughs> this entire time. No, no, I mean, I'm totally, like, you know, Ned and Caitlin, they're awesome. Not going to do any, like, shift changes or anything. You know, it's all good. I just get the fancy house and, you know, make all the decisions. Can I have a, bo a raised boss? <laughs> Hell yeah, you can. <laughs> I get two lollipops per hour now. <laughs> as many as you want. Lollipops for everyone. First order of business. We're going to sell lollipops, obviously. I'll start making them. With my man Chris as the supplier. Get him in here. <laughs> you see Chris walking down the street. Yeah. <laughs> My man. Dancing to Fat Boy Slim music in his head as he comes down the street <laughs> to see you. He's like, Chad, the man. What's up? I am the man. Yeah. No, stop, man. You it's perfect timing. Come inside and have one of uh, a peppermint drink or whatever. Yeah. I'll go make it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, do that! Holy shit! You all work for me! <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'm asking Bill what he wants me to do. Like, as CFO, like, do you want me to, I mean, should I sweep right now? Like, I know it's kind of a mess from the fight. We got some bodies to take care of. In the process <laughs> of becoming CFO, uh, Bill has attained, like, parcel speak. That he yeah. can speak to you because you are a U on T. You can yeah, now yeah. communicate with him via speech. And he says, I think we've done enough for tonight. Okay. Yeah. You know what, Bill? You're so right. Shots for everyone. Peppermint, peppermint schnapps. We've done enough work. Let's celebrate. <laughs> All right. And I think with that, folks... I don't know if we can do anything more to top this, so we're going to cut this probably a little bit early. Unfortunately, you folks aren't coming back I, unless things change, but everybody levels up now. We hit $1,100. In case these characters come back for a future stream, you're all level That's six. Level six now? Yes. Awesome. So let me just do a quick count, and I will tell you guys some things. Can make a decision. Thank you, Celeste, for in a promptly or in a, in a you know promptly jumping in for a character a player. We had to have a drop. It was so worth it. I'm the CEO. Oh, it was fucking <laughs> fantastic. Excellent so work, I will throw this out there for you guys. Obviously, don't feel obligated. It's totally cool. We have two shot, uh, two shifts, two spots on the four a.m. So shift. Eastern time that are laying open at the moment, if anyone wants to jump in. I'll consider it if I'm still up, I'll come by. So See, that is... That would only be midnight Pacific time. That's not so bad. 1 a.m. Pacific. 1 a.m. Pacific, Oh, yeah. 1. 1. Oh. Uh, hmm. But it's three hours, so... Right, 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 right. 1 to 4. You guys can take some time to think about it. If not, people didn't show up for the night shift, and that's that. They're understaffed. It happens. <laughs> we got a new C. We got a new CEO and a new CFO. Who knows? Things are changing. Scheduling <laughs> errors. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, things where the shop was in disarray and gonna fail, and then the fates changed everything by unwishing how half of the things that happened. Oh my god! If somebody pulls a fate card and undoes this, you know how fucking pissed I'm gonna be. Here's the thing. Though, so, also, please nice. donate to the children. Here's the yeah. thing. I'll challenge you to a duel. Here's what happens. Um, <laughs> the rest of the deck of many things has to be gone through before oh. those cards come back in. Oh. But that last shift, people drew, I think, ten. There were four people. They drew ten total cards. Yeah. So, like, that went through. The deck's only 24 cards long, I think. Yeah. So, no, please donate to the children and try to undo, undo the magic that Chad created here today. $110. Or, or what's that? $1,110. Crazy. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You are Thank all you. so awesome. So, as my voice is getting progressively worse, um, 
Jordan, why don't you tell people who you are, where they can find you and all that good stuff. My name's Jordan with a silent PH in the middle, and you can mostly find me on YouTube where I run a channel called Forgotten Realms Explained, and we talk about all of the D&D lore uh, of the, basically of the Forgotten Realms, but I've also been experimenting with Eberron, so I've been making Eberron videos as well. So if you're interested in the lore behind Dungeons and Dragons, come check out my channel on YouTube, and it's super fun, and I make, uh, I like to call it uh, digestible videos, or quick digestible videos. They're like five to eight minutes long, and you can kind of pick a subject and, and get informed about it, so. Yeah, I would specifically recommend if you play a divine character in the Forgotten Realms and you need to know a little bit more about your deity, um, his videos on literally every deity, uh, both most of the main ones, but then also in every back Every Forgotten Realms deity of the main pantheon uh, I have done. I am now, because I've been getting a lot of requests to do the uh, Elvish pantheon and the Dwarvish pantheon, so those are in the works. Uh, yeah. You've done a couple of elven gods too. You did Corallon, I think, right? Um, he's he's been intermixed in the lore for a while, <clears throat> yeah, but not a specific Corallon video, no. Yeah, uh, lots of good good quality stuff. History of the realms are useful. Mm -hmm. um, I got the but... best compliment from Ted when he sent me a tweet that was just like, "I finished all of your content. I need you to make more." <laughs> I was like, "That's yeah. awesome." Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, Paul, what about you? Uh, I am the narrator for the Venture Maidens, so if you listen to their podcast, you can hear my voice at the beginning of every single episode. Uh, I am on Twitter, uh, at Paul underscore Harpering, and uh, yeah, I love playing uh, games of all types, be they card, video, tabletop, you name it. All right, Celeste, we've heard from you once before. Let's hear from you again. Ah, uh, yes, me and Chad just talking away. Uh, my name is Celeste Conwich. You can find me on Twitter at C Conwich. Uh, as Paul also mentioned, uh, I am the dungeon master for an actual play D&D podcast called Venture Maidens. I'm usually DMing for that. Uh, but when I'm not DMing there, oh, and follow us on Twitter at Venture Maidens. And when I'm not there, I'm also one of the co-hosts for DMnastics, which is on the DM Block show, which you can find wherever podcasts are free. So check that out at DM's Block. Uh, also, you can find me here on this channel on alternate mondays i am in ted's uh, rise of tiamat stream i play leopold uh <clears throat> the bard and he's awesome so uh be back on monday uh playing six to nine pacific and whatever that is eastern time check nine, me out nine there. to midnight three hours later that one <clears throat> <laughs> all right and Faye, what about you i've just been playing D, &D for a long time i cut my teeth DMing when I was 16 at a convention. I don't recommend it. Uh, starting DMing at a convention. Uh, it's not fun. <laughs> so, um, but I'm on Twitter that I barely use at Tora Iyer. Um, and I DM two different groups on Discord if you use voice chat. And you're pretty active in our, the Nerd Immersion Discord as well. So that's yeah, yeah, I, I love to talk about dice. So if you ever a lot about that. I will talk your ear off about dice and different brands <clears throat> and where to find what on sale. And <laughs> there you dice. go. Uh, and again, Celeste and I will be at PAX Unplugged and under a month from now. So it should be a good time. Uh, we're going to be playing some D and D, some Buffy the Vampire Slayer and hanging out doing interviews and that kind of fun stuff oh my god my voice is really going um find some honey yeah that's the next step so thank you guys so much i hope you all had fun i did thank you oh, i had a blast that was amazing. <laughs> thank uh, that's the, that's the nature of these extra life streams donations make things crazy um they always get a little out of hand and wonky so uh, this had a lot more ninja fighting than I had anticipated. A lot more Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> yeah, Naruto, yeah. Ninja Turtles. We learned a lot about Dragon Ball Z tonight, everybody. <laughs> um, only 12 hours left, guys. Uh, <laughs> you're halfway there. You're halfway. For me. <laughs> oh, Ted, you're so, a champion. Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go take that bio break from three hours ago that I was talking about. <laughs> Remember that one? I didn't take. Yeah. I'm going to try to track down some honey, something. <laughs> These lozenges is not doing it. They're not helping. Uh, I need something to soothe my throat so I can keep talking for 12 more hours. 
Otherwise, it's going to be like an ASMR scenario, and I'm going to be up next to my microphone, like, whispering into it to try to get my voice to come through. Um, so, thank you guys so much. Um, I'll ask you all to please, thankfully, bow out so we can invite the next crew in, which will be do, 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 Laura, Shalom, Sage, and Jim for the next session. Think about the 4 a.m. time slot. That's 1 a.m. Pacific. If you're interested, get at me on Discord, and we'll add you in. We have two of four slots filled at the moment. It was great thank playing you. with you guys. Thank yes, you. thank you guys all so much. Bye. Bye. It was a lot of fun. Thank you.